It's Sunday. Matanard, congratulations on being first. Can you nice. check? Congratulations on being second. Nice. And hello to all of you. It's Sunday. It is Sunday and it does kind of feel like we're sitting somewhere near the surface of the sun because today is the hottest day of the week over where we live and I'm sweating <laughs> and I don't like sweating. Yes. In other words, I'm warm. It's been very not nice weather, yeah. but I know how you don't feel it. Tell me. Playing Baldur's Gate 3. I swear the entire world like blends out and you're only focused on the game and it's amazing and I think I got a new addiction and it now sucks that I work and I don't feel like working because I want to play Baldur's Gate Before all day. Before we go into this, hello Modernet, hello Gaming Chick, hello Psycho, hello everybody. How are you all doing? Basically I hope that. you're not as warm and you're safe. I read some stuff about like forest fires in Canada with the air in America being bad again because wind, there's a hurricane it stop on the, the west coast. Fires? No, that's a different one. Oh. Yeah, so I hope you're all safe and that the most annoying thing today in your lives is me complaining about being warm and sweating. <laughs> Which leads me to my segue. Look what Tifa made. It's a bigger too. You can't really see, but this is green, this is blue. Um, the balloons fade out. The green screen effect eats part of that. Oh, that's cool. I know, right? Tifa is amazing. It's so cute. She's slowly warming up to making bigger, like, perler beads thingies. So, uh, I got one of those in my apartment now, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> It actually, it actually looks good. Now that people know <laughs> oh, you wow. made them. <laughs> I know, right? It looks it amazing. It looks so cute. It looks... Mm, I'm may starting... a flying Pikachu bless you today. Mm. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Slowly. Another yellow edition spread. Um, yeah, I think this is like the, the spread thingy that you get when you unlock the flying Pikachu in yellow. I wanted to say gold I for some reason, be... even though you just told me it's yellow. Yes, it's amazing. I think this is the first one I've seen since one of your earlier attempts. Oh, really? We need to, like, how about this? You make, like, a lot of them, and then we dedicate a whole stream to showing, <laughs> showing off all your pearl beads. <laughs> or we make them together on stream one day. Making Maybe. them is kind of relaxing, so I'll mm -hmm. keep going. With it, I like the. Uh, it's like with my post-it stuff at work. I like seeing something come together like this without having to draw it because I suck at that. The only thing that's really annoying is the ironing. That yes, is, that we is still, harder than I remember from as a kid. We still haven't quite found the right settings to make it melt without taking 400 hours of just pressing it on there, but also not like burn. It's it's weird. No. It, it is a skill issue, if you want to call that. I don't remember it being that hard. When, but then I again, I also didn't care that much how it came I've out back then, here. I guess. So I'll it's take true. it. Also, it's Sabe's. Happy Sunday Hello. to you as well. How are you doing? Also, um, now that I can, now that I got this out of the way, the reason I was scrunching my <laughs> face and stuff um, when Tifa mentioned Baldur's Gate. So, I think I've played about three hours. Tifa, how long have you played? I now have six hours in. So... And I know that because the save file said six hours and three minutes when I saved. Yes. But that's in-game time, so you're closer to nine hours with the amount of save scumming you're doing. Okay, I'm gonna go into the save scumming because I really didn't want to do that. I did not want to. I wanted to accept everything the game was throwing my way and if I failed at rolls, then so be it. But I kid you not, I fail every single roll. I get 1 out of 20, correct? So I, I swear, it I, is so frustrating. I started playing it. Um, Ranger gave us the game as a gift on Friday. Thank, thank you, Ranger, Ranger. If you're here. Yeah. Whenever you hear this, thank you so much. It's amazing. So um, I start playing and I immediately, like the game starts and it goes like, which difficulty do you want? Do you want balanced, which is like challenging combat, but it makes you feel accomplished? 
do you want easy, which is like you just want to focus on the story, or do you want the, the hardcore thing where it's like difficult, difficult? I'm like, story. I, I don't care. Give, give me, I'm here for the story. So I chose that when I made my character. I've played games like this before. I love the Knights of the Old Republic games. I've, I remember playing some Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Never finished them, maybe one day. Um, and then I dive. I dove straight into it. Dove? Dived? The past tense of diving, you know what I mean. Dove, I would say. Nein, du bist dope. That's also the German word for dumb, which is like, maybe that's why I confuse it. Or anyway, Dutch word for... Deaf. Deaf. Which makes it even more confusing <laughs> in my head, because it's three different things, people, I'm sorry. Anyway, so I started playing and every one of my roles turned out worked. Like, there's like these like moments like skill checks, like an actual D&D where you need to roll a dice. It's really cool. And I'm thinking, oh, this is really handy because if I didn't get the role, I would start safe scumming because I picked the easiest difficulty on purpose, you know? Like, I want to just get through this and steamroll this. I don't feel like it's easy in difficulty. And when Tifa saw me play a bit, she's like, oh, this game looks cool. And I was like, do you want to play? Mm. Here, you play around. Make a character she did that took her 100 hours. Then she got into the game and she fell in love with it. But Tifa picked the middle difficulty, the normal one, the, the, the it default says it's one. It's a good mix of combat and story. Yes. And the biggest combat is uh, A, between Tifa's ears, because she doesn't understand like fire is fire and standing or having a character stand in a burning she fiery pit. She walked into that herself. No, Tifa, you made I her. I did not. Actually, you control every character. You made her move. I didn't that. see the fire. <laughs> Let me change mine. Yes. And I, this is not a joke. Out of 20 skill checks that she had to pass, one was not a failure. I have never seen this Baldur's many tree. ones being rolled like critical failures ever and it's hilarious to watch her and i think um earlier today you've spent one hour reloading because you had to roll a 20 which is like super difficult it's like one in 20 chance less actually because your character is bad at the thing <laughs> yes how complex <laughs> is the combat that's the only thing that keeps me from playing it it's not that bad Again, it's I'm easy. playing on easy. It's good to understand. I get by. It you can make it very complex because it's Dungeons and Dragons and there's a ton of spells and stuff in the game and skills, so you can do the tactic stuff. Or or you just face tank everything. Which so I far think has it worked for me. It depends on which class you pick, because so I went I with picked, Barbarian. I picked a Ranger and I put mm. A lot of points in dexterity because the game also tells you if you pick dexterity with that kind of class that's like your chance to hit and i keep hitting when i miss it's like meh it happens you know but i don't feel like the game is punishing me or like the game is being difficult you need to think about what's happening so you need to like it's turn-based too, so there's there's no time limit. You limits. have time. So when you walk into like an ambush because you didn't pay you didn't pay attention, you could have seen this coming, but you didn't. You're surrounded by like ten people. It's like an actual like battle. You need to start thinking, but you can always save and reload. I mean, and there's no possible. shame in that. But it's definitely doable. I think yes. you can make it as hard, like you already said, you can make it as hard as you want. If you start playing like one of the sorcerer, wizard, warlock classes, it's gonna get yeah. more complicated. There, there's I think, stuff. <clears throat> the hundreds of spells needs more thought behind it. Mm -hmm. Like I usually play more like ranged or physical attackers, which is like take a weapon and use it. So I'm okay with that. But you could play a wizard or whatever and just go nuts on like, okay, I have this many spells left. Now I need to rest. I need to plan this. There might be encounters where, like actual d d it's your choice. And the game is great. I can absolutely recommend the it. The facial animations during every conversation, I don't think I've seen any anything that's been like recycled yet. And there no? are so many characters and they have so it's many lines. So many options. It goes everywhere. Yeah, can recommend. Definitely. I can absolutely recommend it. It's so good. They're gonna push good. Persona 5 to 2024. 
And one more wonderful thing about uh, Baldur's Gate 3, but the same is true for other games like it. So the previous Baldur's games, uh, Neverwinter Nights, Knights of the Old Republic if you're into Star Wars. But specifically for this one, because here I feel like they, they took the concept of, oh, you have different options and different choices. And they made that actually matter. Not, no spoilers, and you will not tell people either, but I was making dinner earlier and Tifa was playing and she was playing with speakers on. And I could hear something and I, and I came back into this room to like check on her. And he's like, oh, that's disgusting. I feel like throwing up. I'm like, what are you doing? That's not a spoiler. You will not tell people what she did. That is a spoiler. Okay, fine. If you want to be the most vile piece of shit, <laughs> you can do that. If you want to be a regular normal person, you can do that. This game in the, like, let's say in the first 10 hours already, gives you the option to do what you want to do. And my favorite one of these like classic RPG games, because I'm biased, is Knights of the Old Republic, specifically the second one. And the game also has like a good and a bad side, you know, the light and the dark side of a force. And it, it's, it's a bit more like philosophical in your choices sometimes. None of the games I've played go to where this game is going. <laughs> It's like, you can literally do everything like, in it. This is evil. Like, this is obviously evil, evil. If, but excuse me, though. If I'm this happened in real playing... life, people would call the police on you. And This was an stuff. absolutely deserved situation. Regardless, I'm currently going through like this hero route. I'm just trying to save you everyone. You are not acting like a hero. I'm being super nice. That was not evil. Eviler than Monica, it was not. Um, different scale, more immediately evil and less like cerebral and thought I'm out. currently being the hero and I'm trying to save everyone and help everyone and then after I think I'm gonna do like an asshole... You already are doing that. ...run where I'll just kill everyone on sight I think. I am not! That was an evil character and he was trying to make me do the same thing and then uh, in a miracle I had that... Uh, I had the correct dice immediately. I made him do the thing he wanted me to do. So Tifa, you... I, I don't want to give it away because I want you to experience for yourself. It, it's so good. It, it's disgusting, but it's so good. Um, you, you have a good guy in your own opinion, yeah? So you, you meet this guy who is being an asshole to you. And instead of defusing the situation, which I didn't watch There was the whole no part. option for that. That's what she says. Um, instead of just putting this guy in his place, you went full psycho. But that is how I put him in his place. You went. I had no difficulties after that. You went full. If a character does this in a TV show, they need to put warning labels before the episode starts. I don't think it was that bad. Anyway, I can absolutely recommend the game. Yes, so much fun. it's amazing. You should play it. The it's town really was inflicted with a plague. It was a moral decision to burn down the entire town. Off to include it. That's the plot of Warcraft 3. Exactly. Arthas did plenty wrong. He did everything wrong. And as a matter of fact, Warcraft 3 is the only game I ever bought from Blizzard that I don't regret buying. And I still have my original copy. Let's, wait, why do you have that game treat two times? That's the base game and the other is the add-on. The Frozen Floor. Oh, wow. You better fix And I'm off. so bad at it, I never completed Warcraft 3 without cheats. <laughs> I'm really not good. <laughs> like, oh, the one cheat I also want is to carry items. You will not or carry as much items as I want because no. it's so annoying. It's like Skyrim. After a couple minutes, you're full. And you're heavy, and then you're have slow. You, have you have you tried not picking up literally everything and maybe sharing the load with your party? Oh, that's annoying. I want to carry it all. I will. I, I will find a compromise for you. The moment somebody makes a mod where you can play a donkey, <laughs> like, like a package mule donkey kind of thing, I will install that for you, and then you can be the donkey character. 
I'm finding like this giant ass desk and I'm like, oh, take the closet. Hmm. Take. <laughs> She's once misclicked, the game actually gives you the option to carry dead people. <laughs> I carried several so dead instead fishermen of, in my Instead pocket. of looting a person, Tifa took the person along. Which, I mean, first of all, the game gives you the choice. That's, that's amazing to me also for stealth purposes, you know? It, smart. I was nice but, though. They were fishermen and I dropped them in the water. Thanks. That's that's pretty pretty wow. good for the water quality, probably. I mean, that's something else. <sighs> Gotta admit, I don't understand the reference that I apparently made. That's that's the power of a good video game. You you can make a reference without realizing it. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, whether it was a mercy kill or not depends on your interpretation of like morality and stuff. So, I think he was in the wrong. Really like playing D D with my friends. Might actually buy it a Baldur's Gate 3 game. Nice advertisement. Can finally be evil also in game. Yay! I absolutely recommend it. Baldur's Gate 3 is the first time I've played a game like this, and it made me feel like I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons. Also, I think one, one last raving endorsement for the game. One thing that really sells me on this: a lot of games have a narrator. A lot of the games I've played that are like this don't have a voiced narration. This game does. So, like an actual dungeon master or game master would walk you or would talk you through what's happening, you have this voiced narration. Yes, it's, true. it's not just a subtitle on the screen. It actually tells you what, what the characters are going through, what they're doing as far as it pertains to what's happening. And you could probably play this I mean you would need a way to pick the choices and stuff but you could play parts of this with your eyes closed and you would understand what's happening and I think that's hmm. that's great yes apparently it also has a multiplayer yeah. mode but I can't I have a hard time imagining that Why? Didn't check it out yeah everybody plays certain characters like in Dungeons and Dragons when you do the pen and paper thing yeah but you have one person that leads the way then no it's split screen. Oh, I see what I see, you see what you see. Oh, Again, like, like if you play with pen and paper. You oh, see. okay, fair. The donkey class skills. One, carrying capacity is quadrupled. I like that. I need that. Two, proficiency with cooking utensils for exclusively waffles. I don't get it, but I love it. Three, advantage on persuasion checks to... <laughs> I see the Shrek references. Okay, now uh, now I get it. I'm gonna yeah. give one, not spoiler, but it tells you what's all possible in the game. I walked into a very cur, I walked into a various, very curious couple. Yeah, they having were, intercourse with one another. They were busy. And I kid you not, it looked like a four. Thanks, Tifa. <laughs> Like it's all out there. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's something like that with dragons in there. I mean, so, it, was, you know, it was because of the character size. Like one was huge, one was tiny. Do I not know my own commands? I told you, I keep doing the same thing too, yes. I need to make a butt command that does the same thing. <laughs> so, I mean, it wasn't even a joke. It was Tifa taking to the max. Check for undead curses worse than death. You wrestled my jimmies there. I'm okay with doing that. Uh, undead curse worse than death. Depends on how you see it. I would argue, given that the undead became a playable faction later and a big part of like World of Warcraft and stuff, maybe, maybe not. Again, I think it depends depends on how you see it. I mean, I understand why they did what they did in Warcraft 3, but... <laughs> but, day since Jack messed up calling the Butts command. Okay, I will not make a copy of a Butts command that does the same thing. Tifa, can you copy that, please? <laughs> I'm already on it. Thank you, Mortonaut. I will take care of that during the next break. Where are you at? Doing it live. What else did I miss? 
We're still playing Baldur's Gate 3 right after Ground Talk and I watched the Barbie, mo Barbie movie and I really wanted snarky Helen Mirren to do the narration. That would be so good. That also would have worked. Maybe. I mean, Larian, the, the, the studio that made the game, said that they have no plans for DLC. I hope they'll be contracted to make another game or maybe like an add-on like there was for the previous oh. Baldur's Gate games. I want Gordon Ramsay. I remember on our TomTom -tom we had this voice thingy where we had Gordon Ramsay as a voice. And every time you like miss a turn, he cusses at you and makes fun of you. As he should. So it was really funny. But I want the narration like that. Ima yeah, imagine that. Like if they want to monetize with more, I don't think they will because they don't seem like the kind of company that does that. But I think there is a market there for people buying the Helen Mirren narrator DLC. <laughs> when you get like a 20 gigabyte download and then Helen Mirren is giving you snarky commentary. I'll be okay, but probably. It's Donkey from Shrek Jack, he makes waffles. I forgot about the waffles part, I remember the rest. Yeah. Have I seen all the Shrek movies with you? You, I don't think you have seen all of them to be honest. I, I think I have seen all of them, it's just that I don't remember most of them. You've seen one and one or two at least. I remember watching one and two. Yeah. I don't think. Something like that. Have you seen three? I don't I think, recall. I think it was on in a room I have been in. And we also have four. I Actually, remember. I remember watching that with you a while ago. It went in through my eyes and out through my hair, I guess. <laughs> If we're being undead in Warcraft really sucks to also be fair, Arthas? Is it Arthas or Arthas? I don't remember. Didn't know anything about that and he did what he did for the greater good. Yes, but he had his whole like paladin buddy like standing there like, oh no, that's you're going too far. Mm. Potato, uh, potato. Yeah, I mean, if you go full paladin, you smite evil, right? And it doesn't matter if it's like lesser evil, medium evil, greater evil, you, you keep smiting. That's what you do. So, it makes sense. Talking That's about a lot of fun. acts of God. <laughs> when I say for the greater good, I'm hard mocking him. It made sense. Good drive, but I'll be looking. Should be back later in the stream. Smart enough. Have a safe drive. See you later, potentially. Hope this What he said. Here. Yes. Where Maybe at I? some point we can stream Baldur's Gate 3. Maybe. The, let's see. By Maybe. the time we're through with this game, it's next year. Potentially, yes. Another thing that takes forever, not my original segue, but I'll take this one. Tifa doing recaps. Tifa, what happened the last time we played Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward? That is a good question and I've been thinking long and hard about it and it's quite a short recap. We are currently down the middle path where we teamed up with Ten Miyuji and we decided to betray him in the first AB game. Because someone has to make the hard choices. He's pretty butthurt about it. Like he's not forgiving us as... Of course he's angry about this. Excuse me, he forgave Clover on the spot when Clover was the one betraying him. He's yes, like, oh, because sexism. I understand, I just gotta earn your trust and I'll work hard at that. And with us, it's like, you evil monster, never want to see you again. He's still really mad at us, all of that stuff. I get it. I don't blame him. I get it, but it's not how he responded to <laughs> playing Fye is not. Exactly, Fye is... I think too overdressed for Ten Miyuji. That, I, that has to be a. I don't think it's a matter of whether Fai is attractive to Ten Miyuji. Fai specifically pointed out to him, it, it was him. He pressed the tray. <laughs> uh, me? Me? Uh, I, I wouldn't have done that. I wanted to choose Ally. It was Sigma doing the bad thing. No, honestly, it's because Fai's personality isn't shining through. True. That has to be it. Has to be. <laughs> but okay, we betray Ten Miyuji. If you're seven furious, right? Huh. That could also have something Potentially. to do with it. Potentially. And we have also gone onto the path where Quark started kind of losing it. We found out that once yeah, he again, 
he has what's it called awesome six um radical six radical six what was that disney movie with baymax it had a different name in it, it wasn't called baymax wasn't it something with hero in it big hero big six, hero six. <laughs> awesome six it, it's the tifa version Radical, awesome. If you catch Awesome 6, all of your roles in tabletop RPG settings will fail. That's <laughs> that's the only affliction of it. Yeah. So yeah, we found out Quark is sick, that there's a pandemic currently going on. We were we overheard Alice and Clover talk about like a headquarters thing, which we True. later asked them we about them when we that. were alone. Exactly. And Clover started telling us that there has been more nonary games, and this is yes. actually her third one. She gave us a bit more details about it, and before we could press too much, our timer is up, and we are currently heading down to the next puzzle room. Damn, I'm pretty good. Whew. This was the second time you've done a good recap. To the point where you actually remember details that I had forgotten about. Thank you. And this is what happened last time at My Favorite Letter is X. Can you always do it? I swear I'll stop mocking you at some point. <laughs> I, I, like, I don't want to make fun of your recaps. I'm perfectly happy with them being good. Like this one. This one was good. I would rate this a 9 out of 10. Yeah. Nice. What made it a 10? What would have made it a 10 out of 10? Um, I literally had everything in there. Remembering that it's Radical 6. Oh, okay, that's fair. That's a whole point. Yeah. At least like nine and a half. No, getting no getting the details right in a recap of a story-heavy game is kind of important. But it's not even like it's a completely random word. It's kind of a synonym. A, a what? A synonym. You what, mate? What's the English word for... Synonym. Oh, synonym. That's what I said. <laughs> awesome 6 is hilarious. <laughs> it works, doesn't it? I, not, you all know what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm saying it's wrong. Like, it, it can be both, but... How are you feeling? Time to find out. I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Are you ready? It's so warm already. It's yes. really warm. It's because my mind is still in thinking mode from Baldur's Gate. Look, we, le we left it here so that we would remember what we need to do. Yeah. This is just before we went like, oh no, that's our... Or just after like, oh no, the time is up. We gotta go there. Let's do that. What are we going to do about Quark? Meh. We leave him in. Unfortunately, oh, Peanut. Okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Are you sure? It literally applies to everything in this game. Every time a non-Dutch person uses a Dutch saying that they picked up from Tifa, a pancake gets its wings. Like puffer chair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's but just like a tiny pancake. Yeah, like really tiny, like like this size usually. What? That's way too big for a puffer chair. It's a big one. If I make them wear this A puffer chair is like this size, like literally. D Sorry for the, for the detour, but did you also have this game in like middle or high school where somebody made this sign and if you looked into it, you got to punch them? <laughs> I was thinking of it, is, but I'm like, yeah. Oh. Is that a, okay, is that a European thing or did you also I have it in the US? I can't do that, I could also do it like this, like, oh. Because I remember people were like, hey, what, hey. <laughs> there were even like these whole memes where they went like, oh, look in the right corner, look in that corner, and then it ended with... Yes, exactly. I remember the time. What, what was the trick to not be punched? You had to do something. I don't remember. I've, I've only ever gotten punched, which <laughs> tells you something about my high school life. Exactly, exactly. You had to punch them first? I think I had to do some... I, I don't recall. Uh, I also don't remember. I just remember there being like one or two kids in my like year that took this way too far. They wouldn't just be like, but like actually like, put your finger. <laughs> oh yeah, true, true. Yes, that's what it was. Which now that we're older is like, maybe don't do that. I mean, you can, but 
Now I feel like it implies something else. It doesn't make me think of punching somebody. Well, are you sure? Yes. I can't just leave the boy here. Yes, you can. Besides, if we don't have Quark's bracelet, there'll be one team who can't open their secondary door. Oh, and in case anyone's wondering, the dead body is laying next to Quark on the other side of the petition. We still don't know who it is. Yeah. I mean, I know it's Luna. Tifa thinks it's June from 999. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll stick with it. <laughs> Don't put your finger on random people. Exactly. Yes. If today has one lesson, let that be it. I agree. Don't put your finger in random people. I'll remember that. <laughs> Just standing... Ask for consent first. In the bus and suddenly... Yeah, please, do. please don't do that. Yeah. If that happens... The finger in your ear? I was giving you that look because again she's like... With a keyboard. Well, it's working, isn't it? Uh-huh. They'll get penalized. Is it penalized? Is the way to Is penalized the actual <laughs> pronunciation? It, it, Not it, penalized. Both work. It's like root and route. Both <laughs> ways of saying it are correct, but I'm ten. I will probably always say penalized because <laughs> penalized. <laughs> yeah. Penalized sounds really funny the more you say it. No. I think we've already hit the apex. Exactly. Thank you. Very well then. I will carry Quark. Oh yeah, he does need to go into the room, of course. It's a puzzle room. Did Phil also do that last time? Hmm? No, last time he fainted when they came out of the room. Oh, After damn! After they finished it, he fainted and then Kay carried him out. I only realized no, this, this was happening earlier this time. Yes. It is. I am confusion. Okay. I will be able to move much faster than Ten Yoji. Uh, you make a good point. Weird flex, but true. Look, are you sure about this? Can I trust you? You have nothing to worry about. Fine, just be careful. Of course. All right, let's go. And then Kay takes off the monk rope thingy and makes this really cute... Oh, like this baby like, carrier. Exactly, like oh, this sleeve kind of adorable. to carry Quark inside of it, like near his chest, and it looks all adorable and stuff. Would Kay be considered naked then? Can a robot be naked? Well, if the robot was wearing clothes before and takes the clothes off, yeah, technically he's naked. Is being naked the state of not being clothed? Or is it a state of showing parts of your body that you normally would not see? I'm quite sure the definition of naked is not wearing any clothing. Then yes, he would be naked. Well, glad we solved that problem. That's what the K stands for. You can't spell naked without K. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's absolutely the reference for it. Exactly. I mean, would you call it animal naked? Well, yes. Yes. I, I guess. I guess I would. I mean, its natural state is naked. <laughs> We're blowing everybody's minds right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the well, conversation you never thought you would have, but now you realize when you go outside and you see animals, they are naked. There's nudity all around you, people. Quick, censor all of them. I mean, what else would you call it? It's like in Donald Duck, if he takes off his shirt and it's like, yeah, I'm naked. Let's not talk about nudity in Disney products because. <laughs> If you can't see the butthole, it's not naked. 
Okay, uh, that's an alternative. Uh, what if the, the being doesn't have one? And here I thought if I go naked over the street, I'll get arrested. As long as you don't show your butthole, you're good. Oh, look, there's a video game. We're running out of time, people. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> oh, fine. Exactly. My mind is scaring myself <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I see you're getting affected. Move! I get that. Okay, fine, sorry. <sighs> We're moving. Advice command, we all began to run. The door opened and we spilled out into the warehouse. But with this weather, if half the city wants to walk around naked, be my guest, I fully get it. Yes. It's so warm. Better than getting a heat stroke. Yeah. But again, isn't that easier if you're naked? Isn't that why you're also supposed to wear a hat and stuff? So that the sun doesn't just beat down on your head? I mean, that also makes sense. If you only wear your hat, are you still naked? I think you should not try that out. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Have we decided the doors already? Not yet, I think. Many doors have opened. At least I don't remember hmm. her. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. I really quick, I had another random thought while I took a shower earlier today. Which was? Well, besides the whole like color theory stuff in this game and the maths and the puzzles, there's also wordplay. Mm -hmm. Like rearranging letters. What if another hint to that besides sigma and phi both being letters in the greek alphabet which ties them together for some reason if you if you say phi backwards it sounds like if yeah and sure. if and when and maybe like possibility plays such a huge part in this nonary game And where are you going? That that is another weird hint that the game kind of gives you toward her being like attached to all of this. Mm, I don't see it. I guess I just have to work on you trusting my instincts more. <laughs> If they would go with a name turned around has a big meaning, I think they would do it with more characters than just fine. So that you can catch up on it. Well, they had Luna. <laughs> God. We need to hurry. <laughs> yes, we need to hurry. Good the question. Only, <laughs> the only thing we discussed so far, by the way, is the options on who could go with who but not yes what is we're almost out of time uh what are our options if tifa doesn't Sorry. delete my text off her screen pay attention we've only got time to do this once <laughs> oh wait sorry i didn't hit hey. you just like before pay attention there are only three possible combinations the options file laid out for us were the following option a Clover and I, Magenta, paired with Ten Miyuji, Cyan to go for the blue door. Oh, well, that's not happening? Yeah, probably not. Luna and Fi, Cyan, paired with Dio, Yellow to go for the green door. Okay, and Alice, Yellow, paired with Quark, Magenta to go for the red door. Okay, there's no option A. Option B. Clover and I, Magenta, paired with Dio, Yellow to go for the red door. Have we already gone with Dio once? No. Luna and Phi, Cyan, pair up with Quark, Magenta to go for the blue door. I kinda wanted to say let's go with Quark, but I don't think we're really in a carrying position. Mm. I think Quark should stay with K if that's an option. This graph would be less confusing if we had character icons instead of letters. Oh yeah, like faces. Mm, yes, I agree. I think that would have been a nice touch to change when they brought this to the PC and stuff. I think they did it this way because originally this was a PlayStation Vita game on like a screen of this size. And 
I mean, the resolution of the Vita screen was pretty good. A high def, given the size of the screen. But it's still a small screen. And if you have like the little icons there, I think it would be harder to see versus the letters, which are easier to make out. I think that's why they chose this. I'm fully on your side. They should have done that. Like At now least. on PC or something, faces would have been much nicer. Yeah. K and Alice, yellow, paired with Ten Miyuji, Cyan to go for the green door. Well, B would be an option. Option C. Clover and I, magenta, paired with Quark, magenta to go for the green door. Oh, so we have no choice. We gotta go with Quark regardless. Luna and Phi, Cyan, paired with Ten Miyuji, Cyan to go for the red door. K and Alice, yellow, paired with Dio, yellow to go for the blue door. So the only thing we can really pick is the color with cork. I want to try to go with 10 Miyuji. I mean, we can try, but... 10 won't go with 5 either. Ah! Uh, I think he's I better think he at might. us. I think he might, given that she blamed us for all of this. Yeah, yeah, let's we find seem, out. We seem to be the main culprit, but let's see how he's going to respond to it. So, how are we going to do this? I won't go with Sigma. Oh, well, there you have it. He betrayed me last time. I mean, Fi did it, but... Oh! Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> what oh. about Fi? <laughs> this is why this game is so amazingly written. <clears throat> what about Fi? You hit the button, right, Sigma? There you go. There, There's your answer. There's his logic. Well, yes, but... I don't want to go with Dio. Same reason. I can't trust that he won't betray me again. Mm. Thanks a lot, Quark. I mean, you all fair. handedly torpedoed my reputation. Joining you on that drink. And after that, I will steal your water because I am warm. Sit like a human, please. Where's your... Oh, you already finished your water. I already drank all of mine. <laughs> then... Have it. Thank you for the sitting straight. Makes me sit straighter for some reason. Too. <laughs> well, that leaves us with option B. No, okay. No. We can't do option B. Oh. oh. Why not? I'm sorry, Luna. But I can't trust you or Fi either. The way he is right now, someone's going to have to carry Quark. I just can't oh. afford to give him to someone I don't trust. Oh, okay. Makes so sense. the only option Ten Miyuji is willing to accept is for one where K gets to carry Quark. But that's not an option at all. Oh, that's fine. In out. B and C, we are with Quark. <laughs> so he gets to taking pick, the kid hostage. He gets to pick. We take Quark, or we go with him. That's his only option. I already forgot for parents. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. I thought you trusted Fi. Not enough for this. Then what do you intend to do? Fair point. Quark shifted silently in Kay's arms. Quark is a solo, as are you, Tenmyoji. Solos can't pair with one another. You do remember that. Yeah, of course I do. Yes, I didn't no say trust. there wasn't anyone I trusted. There's one person. Who do you trust, man? Luna. Clover. Oh, Clover. Makes sense. I mean, Seven knows Clover. Exactly. What are you going to what? do if it turns out that Ten Miyuji is actually Seven? There is no way. What? Assuming no that way. it does somehow become a thing. What are you gonna do? That's a good question. What am I gonna do? Sit here and disbelieve. Yeah. Me? Yeah, that's what I said. So it's still option B or C. Because we're teamed up with Clover. If you press a button, we'll find out. I can't tell you. I just know that you'll keep him safe. He had a premonition, right? <laughs> She'll travel back in time. <laughs> yeah, I pretend I was along with this the entire time. In the timeline you're currently witnessing, by, I, I make a prediction now by the end of it, only one of us will remember having played Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. 
If ever we'll pretend it never happened. It's nice of you to say, but... Why does he trust her? Exactly. Wish this? Mm-hmm. My partner is Sigma. Are you sure you want me to take him? Yeah, no choice. Clover, you just vote by yourself. Make Sigma wait outside the AB room. No. If Clover takes Quark, then we have to go with option C, right? Or B. That means I'll be stuck with Dio. There's no way in hell I'm going to let that happen. Who do you want to pair up with then? Isn't it obvious? Quark. Remember what the announcement said? There was no Ellis and Quark. Something about how the system will automatically vote ally for anyone who doesn't enter their own vote in time? I remember there being a graph in front of me, but... No! This is exactly why I can't trust any of you! I was waiting for the announcement to... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was sitting here thinking like, are we really gonna argue about all of this back and forth now? But I guess I didn't pay attention because I'm sure there was no Alice and Quark. I'm, I'm not joking. Like, I read the line, I look at the graph and it's gone. The, the moment the graph and the text disappears from the screen, the, the information in my brain is deleted. I cannot retain this info. It also doesn't really matter because the moment the choice comes, you have the options in front of you. Yes, that too. We don't have time to argue this. Let's take a vote. Those opposed to C? Alice and Dio's hands went up. What? Why don't you want C, Dio? Well, if she's got that much of a hate on for me, that hardly plays into my hands, does it? Mm. Mm. Fine, whatever. I assume anyone who didn't raise their hand is alright with option C then? No one objected. I kept my mouth shut too. Just as Alice had said, there was an excellent chance that Quark would default to Ally. If that happened, he'd make a great opponent. I chose Ally, of course, but it would be good to not have to worry about him choosing Betray. Of course. He mm -hmm. says, of course, in the route where we picked Betray. Spoken like a villain. <laughs> All right. Six to two in favor. Wait. What about me? Stay here if you don't like it. I imagine your partner might have something to say about that, though. Wait, what about... are we not gonna vote about the rest? No. Oh. It was a vote to see which... Oh, whether this option would have enough resistance against it. To see about C? Exactly. <laughs> Egg... Mame... Talking about C's. Exactly. Hello, Mame. Happy Sunday. How are you doing? Also, Egg... What he said. Kay handed Quark to me gently, then crossed his arms and turned to face Alice. Her jaw clenched as she stared up at him, and I could see the gears turning inside her head. Fine. But what about B? Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. But true, this was a very straight route, so we wouldn't even get an option. And <laughs> doing goose. Multiple types of goo? Or is it lacking an E and you're doing something with a goose? <laughs> Both could be very interesting. Did you do you did you not go through a phase in your childhood where you played with goo? Like the slime. Exactly. In the early nineties, yeah, the Ghostbusters the... was a huge thing in Germany because the the cartoon started airing and it had like a revival kind of thing. And I had the the house this like old fire station building the toy version and it came with this like package of green goop sorry that's a brand goo i mean of course and then you put that over there and then like went through there it's like slimy and like sticky but like also not it was weird you had to play with it exactly twice and it was so like full of absorbing all the lint and everything that touched that you uh. Logan is like, I don't want to play with this anymore. They used to have like this slime in a jar, but I don't think that became popular because of Ghostbusters back then. But same issue at some point, all of the shit around your house got stuck in it. Yeah, nowadays when you um, have like goo or slime in a jar and you talk about this on the internet, the, the conversation goes somewhere else. 
No, not fully true because like slime and stuff is still very popular. Is it? Yeah, I keep getting videos on like TikTok of people that make their own slime and sell it. On OnlyFans. On TikTok. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hurry, Clover. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You thought it, I said it. No one thought that. The fact that you also moved your hands backwards and out of the screen kind of didn't help. Hurry, Clover. The door's closing. Right. Hey, take care of Quark. Of course we will. Don't worry about it. I got a good grip on Quark in order to tell Miyuji and took off for the door. Our feet slapped against the metal floor as we ran. The empty voice of the announcer echoed in my ears. Two. One, zero. Run. Cutting it really close, actually. Chromatic doors. Oh, we were standing right in front of the doors. Mm. Run for us, run. Faster. Do you think we're going to get a new room or one of the ones we've already been to? I think... It's a new one. It's going to be a different one every single time. Maybe it's the pantry. Oh, true. I haven't been there. Yeah. But I say before we find out, we take another short break, get you some more water. Yes, please. We've lost the game only for not being able to remember what color goes where. Same. <laughs> and I am so, so thankful that every single time you need to make that choice, the game goes, which option do you want? It's like, yes, thank you. Thank you. Very much the same. I'd be like, okay, so us two may blue let's yeah. just go into blue and then we die because it's you know let's quickly blonde. write down all the colors again and like download like the chart for how the colors work it's i need only... water brb brb and we're back we are you ready for this huh this visit at end welcome back and you too exactly well, there are three doors here but it looks like they're all locked. Hmm. Do we have a lever again? Also, I I heard recently somebody pronounced it and they said lever. Lever? Yes. I think we've had that problem before. So I'm gonna try to remember and pronounce it lever. I'm As quite in sure you can lever also say alone, lever. Lever alone about the pronunciation of this word. This is a penalized, penalized thing. Could be. I'm quite Could sure you. lever is also lever. I keep saying, never mind. <laughs> lever is also a word. Let's find out. What's this thing? It's got a lever on it. Can you pull the lever? Lever. Okay. See? So it is a thing like with penalize and penalize, where you can pronounce it both ways. And now I regret mentioning that. <laughs> if only we pressed A, huh? Yeah. The game knows. How how do you know? How do you know Virtue's last reward? How? Come on, my hands are kind of full right now. Okay, this time this time it's legit that Sigma doesn't want to pull it. True. Oh yeah. I can take Quark then. <laughs> She'd rather carry Wait. Quark. Wait a second. Pull the lever. What? Why? Why is it always Sigma that has to pull the lever? Well, stop saying lever. No. Lever me alone. <laughs> okay, the lever then, just for you. Because I think they're all scared of what happens and they're that, just trying to pull There has it off. to be an explanation for, like that. I don't think so. Do you think this is the, the Schrodinger's cat thing that Fi explained to us? that for some reason Sigma seems to have the ability to retroactively change history. Like only uh, if, no. or only when Sigma presses, pulls the lever, does it pick the rooms for everybody. Then why would Clover and everyone else immediately refuse already without even knowing that? I think you're thinking too much into it. They might believe that a bomb will explode or Something will happen to them if they pull this unknown thingy. Nah. I think it is. It's gonna be a... S Keep going. I will write this down. There's gonna be a deeper reason to this. I 
don't think so. You really don't want to touch that thing, do you? Well, I mean, look at it. It looks suspicious. All of this looks suspicious. Like I'm gonna touch it and whoosh, a bunch of poison needles fly out of the wall. I hate it when the game confirms the thing you just said. It, it's only funny if it happens to me. I'm just saying, like it makes sense. Did you have a premonition about this? <laughs> no, this is common sense on how they would think about this. I feel personally attacked right now. Maybe if I had like a piece of wood to move it with or something. Piece of wood, huh? <laughs> Sigma can help you with that. <clears throat> I think you might be a little paranoid. Then you do it. Fine. I shifted Quark over to one shoulder and flipped the switch with my free hand. Sigma works out. I mean, especially in a room where with three closed doors, I think it's safe to assume this thing will open a door. See? No needles. Everything's fine. For now. <laughs> I was also kind of shocked that Sigma behaved. This is the non-creepy Sigma verse. So actually, so actually, yeah. So far, I believe on this route, yeah. no weird jokes. Plus, I'm also really happy that he doesn't because he's currently shoulder carrying a child. No, we already agreed that Quark has to be like 18 at least. He is shoulder carrying a person, and. I think there's a time and place for everything and besides the whole being creepy and weird and he should have been bitch slapped by everybody in when that happened. I feel like doing that when you're carrying an unconscious person is like even lower on the morality scale. You know? I mean, yes, true. Ringo, happy Sunday. Hello, and yes, how are you doing? Sigma is the perfect person to carry Quark. The perfect person? <laughs> Only one of the doors opened. Did you see the plaque on the door before it opened? I think it said something like treatment center. Oh shit, now it confirms that it's actually in front of the door. Okay, they can't see it and it's not a hologram thing. It's a plaque. Makes no sense, but okay. So it's always in front of the door. Yeah, it's probably on the door, but again, it's a, it's a screen thing coming from the original hardware. So they made it bigger for us. But overthinking is my speciality. Do you think that's some kind of medical thing? First an infirmary, now this. Oh, we're in the room with the pots. Why do I keep ending up in these places? I glanced over at Quark, asleep on my shoulder. Hey. You know what? We may have lucked out. Huh? What do you mean? Well, if this is where they treat people, maybe they've got something that can cure Quark. Oh. Yeah. Let's head on in, man. Okay. Not like we can. Good thinking. That might actually happen. Yeah, but not like we can decide on that. Oh, the oh look, it's fish. a funny Arinpa. <laughs> I've seen one before. I don't recall the painting and stuff. We've only ever seen this shot, I think, where and we the, see the, the jellyfish. The jelly. We've oh, also seen the aquarium. True. true, true, true. But not the lion on the wall. Your line. What are those? It says on the side, treatment pod. So I guess it treats people. Maybe it can help Quark. Yeah. Let's dump them in there. Let's try to pry open the door with my bare hands again. Damn, no good, it's locked. Let's take a look around. Maybe something in here will tell us how to unlock this door. Okay. I'm sure we can manage. Clover nodded and bounced off to examine the room. I lay Quark down just outside the door to the treatment center. Clover might have been overly paranoid about the lever, but there was no harm in being cautious. Hang on, my little guy. We'll get you fixed up soon. How oh, sweet. Ruffled his head gently, then turned and headed back into the room. I had some investigating to do. 
I think he's weird in right rounds because he kind of remembers more thanks to morphogenetic fields, so he remembers bad things that happen. That's just a matter of, of taking his mind off of it. Oh, so when he gets scared, he gets horny. <laughs> Basically. Like trying to break the ice. Okay, mm. that could be an explanation. Because that's not always the case, that is true. That kind of makes sense, you know, when you're when you're not fully feeling well, like like you're in a good space mentally. You say things that normally you wouldn't potentially say. Hmm. Suspension bridge effect. What's that? I don't know that. What is that? Please enlighten us. A wall clock. Nothing strange here. What? Are you serious? Are we even looking at the same clock? Everything about it is abnormal. Really? Totally looks like a regular clock to me. Oh my gosh. Okay, abnormality number one, no hands. Oh, yeah, I guess it doesn't have any. What do you mean, you guess? How could you miss that? Sorry. Anyway, abnormality number two. There's some weird green glowy thing. No, oh, yeah, there is. What is that? I guess there's no way to know without taking it out. But there's a cover, right? You can't get to it. Oh, so we need like chip cards there. Yeah, and it won't open. Shoot. Well, duh. There's no way it's gonna be that easy. So if you want this green thing, we have to figure out a way to get that cover to open. Abnormality number three is the hole on the bottom left corner. Huh. I wonder what it is. I think it's probably a keyhole. A oh, hole? Then that means... Wait. We can think later. I've got two more points of abnormal... <laughs> of abnormality. Number four. Turn your attention to the other side of the clock. Specifically, the bottom right corner? What do you think these are? Well, there are two slots painted red and green. Do you think they're for memory cards? They sure look like they are. And... I saved the best for last. Abnormality number five is about number four. Huh? Look, see where it said... Oh, I was actually looking at the four. <laughs> yeah, safe. I was like, what's wrong with this four? One, two, three, four, what? <laughs> Look, see where it says number four on the clock face? That number four is the fifth abnormality. Uh, yes, I see it. It is rather odd. Does it mean this is the fourth clock? Anyway, those are the five weird things about this clock. Where were you looking anyway? Uh, at the clock? Then your eyes must be worse than I thought. This feels it's like a shitty clickbait YouTube video. Five abnormalities about this clock. Number one. Suspension bridge okay. effect is the idea that people are more likely to develop romantic feelings if they're in peril together. In psychology, the actual term is called misattribution of arousal. Mm. Mm. I did not know it was called that. Well, a variation of that then, because I'm pretty sure when... Sigma was likening the lever to his penis multiple times. It wasn't necessarily romantic feelings and more like lust to go with a more eloquent style of speech. <clears throat> well, a plan. It's all withered up. How sad. I bet it hasn't been watered. Yeah. Did you notice there's something stuck in the trunk? Looks like red plastic. Let me have a look. I'll see if I can pull it out. Huh? It won't budge. I think it's stuck on something. Guess we have to take the whole thing then. Huh? <laughs> well, that red thing is probably important. Yeah. You're probably right. So we need something to cut it out of the plant. Omori references? In my virtuous no. last reward? No. no! What's what did they put inside of the jellyfish? Oh no. my gosh! Aliens! Pretty sure they're just jellyfish. What 
is that even? A table tennis kettle. <laughs> kind of does look like it. It even has the little black thing there on the side. Yeah, the dark blue jellyfish is actually a super jellyfish athlete. He's poor jelly that poor jellyfish. What is it? Let's find out. Aliens. There are three jellyfish. Two yellow ones and a purple one. Let's Talking on about nose. aliens. It landed on my nose. What's that inside the purple one? Also to me that's blue, but it's purple. We can argue about that. Is How about you put the mouse somewhere else? Is it digesting human flesh? Out of all the things, I would not have guessed that to be human flesh. Tifa, and we're talking about me here. Why didn't you warn me that you wrote some of the text for this game? <laughs> like that looks way too perfectly round. Certified Tifa moment. Why would you even think something like that? I don't think it's meat anyway. Look at it. It's too solid. I think it's a tile of some sort. Mm. I wonder if we can get it out. Oh, why would we want to get the jellyfish out? There's a lock on it though. I hope we can fix the jellyfish without like, you know... Oh no! That f it's, the li it's the sun! Somebody's gonna die again. It's the lion that eats the sun. <laughs> yep. Oh, that means we have to kill the jellyfish. Nice lion. That's a pretty realistic painting. It's a really, 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 real lion. What song is that? I don't know the song. Don't sing in a whisper like that. It's creepy. It looks kind of like he's coughing up a hairball. I think he's trying to eat something, not cough it up. I get the feeling that this is like a Super Saiyan lion. And this is oh, his yeah, version yeah. of a... Kamehameha. It's charging an energy beam attack, <laughs> yes. like Dragon Ball Z style. That's the first thing I have to think of when I look at this. Not it, like, oh, he's going to eat it. So it's not a horse with a Napoleon hat holding a sword? Like leaning forward on it? No, I, I, see, I see a lion. I can probably see something else in it. Please don't. He's trying to eat a hairball? Uh, probably something else. What? I... <laughs> I can use hyperbeam. It's very effective. I mean, that's more of what you believe when you see that, no? This room always reminds me of that one meme. Which one? I don't know. Same. There's just a hole there. So we need to put something into the hole. Yeah, I think so. Remember, not your finger. Yes. Top 10 treatment center abnormalities. Number 5. Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> Wait, what? Do I want to know what foot lettuce is? You don't remember that whole thing about some assholes working at a Burger King and putting a video online where they were trampling on the letters? No. It's even the line in the epic rap battle that a nice Peter and Epic Lloyd made. No. Where it's uh, Ronald McDonald versus the Burger King. You're like a bin full of letters facing defeat. What did you think that was a reference to? I don't know about their ingredients being in the trash. Yes. Uh, Not being fresh. I am. I would like to apologize on her behalf. I have seriously never heard of that. The last thing you want in your Burger King burger is someone's foot fungus. Weirdly enough, um, over here in Germany, uh, the Burger King franchises have been in such a bad shape that they have been investigated multiple times. Um, and Burger King Germany actually lost their vegan like plaque on their vegan products. Because it's been found out that multiple times when people ordered from the vegan menu, they got the regular stuff with meat. So I, I would like to go to Burger King again at some point. I don't remember hating them when I still ate meat. But uh, yeah, at least in Germany, not doing too well. Not doing too well at all. 
I went to Google a story that I remember years ago, but I can't find it. Don't know if it's true, so I'm not gonna say it in case anyone was wondering why I was suddenly that way. Okay, Click but I am gonna later. open this because that's kind of nasty. Yes. You have seen that picture. I have never seen that picture ever. Tifa has never been on the internet apparently. I have seriously never seen it. And I'm also kind of shocked he's wearing shoes, honestly, because I thought they were standing on it with their bare feet. It That's the image I had in mind. Wouldn't make it better. Only takeout from my dinner shop, kebab. Ooh, I would love a kebab right now. Mm -hmm. Haven't had that in it's a while. It's one thing I miss from having gone vegetarian. A nice kebab. <sighs> Fun fact, I accidentally went to the Foot Lettuce Burger King when I was living in Ohio. Did it taste better than the average Burger King? Martinard, I think... First of all, I forgot to ask. How are you feeling? Have you recovered from your food poisoning... Food, food poisoning yet? Also, potentially... Which might have been caused by someone. <laughs> no, but maybe you would have been worse off after eating that moldy bread if it hadn't been for you visiting that particular Burger King back then. Build resistance. Exactly. Like, I don't want to have to imagine that, but you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. At least that's how we're saying that. I've been to Burger King, I think, like twice in my life, and I didn't like... Make space. At, okay. at different locations, and I didn't like it at all. Fair enough. I don't know I got chicken nuggets. You don't know where those were before. I'm just saying, I could f I could fit a chicken nugget between my toes. Ranger, I am sitting straight. I'm just saying, feeling good now and happy to hear. Hello, Ranger. Happy Sunday. How are you doing? Thank you again for Baldur's Gate 3. We were gushing yes, over already. it's only. amazing. Thank you so much. I used to eat Burger King religiously. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not a fan. I could eat the nugget out of your toes too. <laughs> I would not let you, but thank you for the offer. I feel very flattered. <laughs> that would be an interesting image. <laughs> Sometimes I regret the things I say. This is one of those moments. I don't. I didn't need that mental image in my head. No. I'm sure that's a thing. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> I feel <laughs> hungry. Get some food. You Get some it. chicken nuggets. No one likes eating at Burger King. Well, Ranger did. Apparently. I used to like Burger King better than McDonald's. There was like a time period where Burger King was actually better over here. But that's been like 15, 20 years ago. I can say at every point in my life where I even went to those places, McDonald's was always better. Mm. Haven't it? Well, I still go to McDonald's for ice cream. To. Yeah. But haven't had a McDonald's burger in years. Sometimes we, whenever I need to go to work, I walk past the McDonald's and sometimes you have still have that craving. It's like from your you coke addiction from yeah. 15 years ago that they used to put in their burgers. Yeah, probably. It's like, do I go buy like a fish fillet or something? And I'm like, oh. The younger version of myself didn't know better burgers existed, but now you do. Isn't that wonderful? Please press A before I actually <laughs> order something. Honest Psycho, regardless of whether we press A or no, you should treat yourself. You deserve it. We actually went to McDonald's today for McFlurry. Correct. Had a coupon. That was tasty. I'm gonna press things now for Tifa. There's a button under the screen. Push it then. Right. And there. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> Hey, it turned on. It looks right with you. It looks like there's something on it. Oh boy. Oh god. What the heck is this? This reminds me a little bit of that goose board game where you start with your geese and then you need it's to a make Dutch them thing. walk around the board. It's the like end. it's like Ludo but Dutch and weird. Hanseboard. Geese board. Bless you. I don't think that's a real game. It reminds me of this. I got fat last year. I, I feel that, but still, you can treat yourself. The trick to losing weight and getting into a better shape is a balanced diet and exercise. If you start exercising, you can also eat more junk food. 
Uh, if you exercise more, you can eat more junk food. If you thought about it this way. Don't worry, I saying. have to listen to this every day. Gee, I wonder why. I promise I'm lazy. Same. Yeah. Welcome Wait. to the team. Can, can we... I will only say this once and you understand what I'm saying. Can we double fist on a psycho, please? <laughs> Eric. Hey, same. Welcome Even though you're the problem of this game. discussion right now. Bitch, please. What? Exactly. You heard what I said. Are, are you going to back up that truck of craziness? Or are you just going to let that sit there and have it be wrong? No, you are like a healthy diet. Exercise. Yes, Ed. No one wants to do that. No one asked for that opinion of yours either. I'll give it to you anyway because I love you. I've tried getting fat, nothing works. You move too much. I am. Um... Take me out for dinner first. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> An XXL cheeseburger. Oh, that would be good. Mm, so tasty. If my metabolism so diet, so I can become the donut. Just keep eating. I can give you some of mine. Like just looking at a donut will make me gain weight. Yeah, same here. Like, mine is so slow, it's ridiculous. Yes, please don't say something similar to that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, uh, well, you could also argue that I'm dual wielding water. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> what? Nothing. I'm, I'm gonna press A. <clears throat> what the heck is this? That's still you. Yeah, that's not you before. Again. Now it's me. See? Every time. Yes. Butts. Why did we make a command butts when no one, including us, can even remember the butts? Butthole makes so much more sense. Or butt. Be because it was requested like this. I don't Maybe. make rules, I just obey them. We need copy paste. See? There you go. Because we even don't get it right. It says start in the corner there. Maybe it's a board game. What does M and H stand for? Hmm. You have found an image of a board game. You can review it in the archive. Oh. Good. Okay. Let's see if we can use that for something. Hey, there's the green one. Look, there's a plant over here too. This one's pretty healthy. It's got a piece of plastic stuck in it too. <clears throat> Looks like this one won't come out either. Well, I guess I'll be carrying around another plant then. Oh, okay. So we still need... If this is like Resident Evil, you combine the plants and then you eat them to heal yourself. Mm. There are three treatment pots in the pod room. There are numbers on the end of each one. I'm reading from left, there are one, two and three. That was very insightful. So I want to just mash the plants in there? The annoying thing is... That was oh, difficult. how did you do that? I just clicked in the general area. Oh. Um, Please examine the tablet. A tablet? There's a message on it. Four pieces for the first password. One piece for the second password. What the hell is that supposed to mean? If I touch it, the screen changes. Enter a four-digit password, then press the Enter key to the right. Okay, no. So this has to do with the board game. Uh, where is... Illustration. What was the hint? Uh, four keys for the first password. Wait, no. What did the tablet say? Four keys for the first password. And I think it said one for the second. I want the text again. Um. Need the hint again? Yes. <laughs> Good thing specifically for reasons like this. I installed cooldowns on things. Nice try, Ranger. I have Ranger proofed our stream as far as I could. <laughs> Boom. 
exactly. Do you think maybe pieces could mean like the pieces in the board game? Pieces? Don't you remember what it said on the tablet before the password screen popped up? No, I don't, like I said. <laughs> like four pieces for the per first password, one piece for the second password. Four first password, one. But where do they land on? Second password, okay. Those pieces. Uh, okay, but what board game are you talking about? You already forgot? No, I haven't. <laughs> Why does this need to be the same thing? Honestly. Okay. So we have a star. The fourth for the first password. What does the M and H mean? I think we need to know that. What? I think we're going to hate this room, aren't we? Let's see if we skip something else. Cause... No, wait. How about I take a picture of it and then you can look at it some more? Here, smile. Hello, Bedinzas. Happy Sunday. How are you doing? I'm confused. Are you playing Monopoly? Here. It feels like it. This seems more complicated. Here, look at the picture while I wait, look wait. for... What? There, I took wait. a picture for you. Return. I, I click return and he goes, wait. Four pieces oh, for the first one. password. I think we somehow need to get that moving. Also, put that back on. It's annoying if people just see the top of my head when I try to look at the thing. Then pick up the phone. Then I can look if we miss wow. something. Wow, amazing. Because we also need to find no. something to get the... Four pieces. We need more hints. Where would you put the four pieces? That's why we need more hints. And for that, I think we need to get the things out of the clock. To get the stuff out of the clock, we need to break open the plants. Yes, so I want to look if we have something to get... The plants open. This is pointless. I don't know what password I'm supposed to put in here. Clover said it might have something to do with a board game. I should go have another look at that game, I guess. A binder. It looks like there's a piece of paper in it. It says how to open the pot room door. Use intimidation on the pot. We talked about this at the beginning of the stream too, but I have so much bad luck in this, I would roll a critical... She's talking about Baldur's Gate 3 for people that can't follow segways right. that are not segways and callbacks to an hour ago without warning. Critical failures all the way. <laughs> That's because she has a critical failure. The door is protected by a four-digit password. You can use the hit and blow count hints displayed on the screen to figure it to figure out what those four digits are. The hit and what? blow. Which what? letter was in the middle? M and H. M and H. Okay. If one of a... Can you please move the mouse somewhere? Thank you. If one of the numbers you select is in a number in the password and in the right place, that will add to your hit count. Oh, it's like that board game. You know where you put the, the colored... Mastermind. Yes, that thingy. Yes. If one of the numbers you select is a number in the password, but is not in the right place, that will add to your blow count. I just said what I said. Okay. You get 10 tries for each password. If you exhaust the 10 tries, the password will reset. But where do we use that? At the door. Apparently. But this is just... Shoot. It won't open. There's a control panel in the middle of it. That's what we clicked. Oh. Hello, Yomo. Long time no see. I have lots of questions, but thank you for the look. <laughs> Appreciate it. Everything he said. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the look. Chuck Norris fact. Chuck Norris doesn't solve puzzles. He just stares at them until they've solved themselves. <laughs> well, that was Chuck Norris in that case. Huh? I wish we had that skill. 
Yeah, I think this is how you unlock it. Okay, I used to be pretty good at Mastermind, so let's... Okay, we got this explanation earlier. I'm not quite sure how it's supposed to work, but I guess I can mess with it a bit. Um, wanna just go... We you... first need to figure it out. You get it first. Oh god, wait, wait, we have what's... nine options. What's the color in this case? Oh, this, this is the U. Good thing you just skipped over all of the explanation again. It's the same stuff. Then why are you asking questions? Because they didn't explain this. They did. They did not explain the color. the amount of attempts. You get 10 tries, so it's, this is 10 slots. One of the numbers you select is in a number and in the right place it will add to your hit count. Okay, so I got one correct. That's why it says one hit, one blow. Yeah. Yeah, but at least in thingy it's easier. Um, I like this game better when it's one. with like five colors. One hit, two blow. So let's assume the one is correct. Oh, wait, that's how it... Okay, the one is correct. One, two, three, four. We started with that, Ranger. <laughs> the one is... Okay, I see how I, I was reading it wrong. No, the eight is... It's not the four. Sixteen. I'm guessing. Oh wait, no. No, it's not four. Click on the. Oh. The eight was also in it. Do eight last. Okay. One, One six. six, eight, five. Nope. One six. I thought the 8 was in, but apparently not. Nope. 17. Mm. Okay. No, it's a different code. Let's try again. Ah, oh, we got this. Now we know at least when... How to read it. One blow. Okay, one of these is correct, but not in the red space. Mm. How about we try to figure out that one first? Don't see how you want to do that, but sure. I like that idea. True, because even if I do this, let's do other numbers. Now I've four, got two numbers. The four is in it. Let's I say four and nine. Wait, seven, four, nine. Two nope. blow. I had the four. He Fuck. I forgot. This is order. a puzzle where using a pen and paper is advantageous. I agree. Yeah, in Mastermind you could see what you did. I need to write this down. Imagine having a whole memo function on this game. Where did I put the four second? I don't recall. First Quick one. check the what. <laughs> the four is where the nine is. Right, at least this one. I did one, two, three, four. How about you go out, you come back in and we start fresh with writing things down. Okay, in the next one. This, the, where the 9 is, is a 4. That is true. The 7 is probably also in it, but not first. If you get the puzzle right, you won't have to do it anymore. Uh, potentially, maybe we have to do it again for a, a second solution. You don't know in this game. Could it have double numbers? No. I don't that know. Helps. I think that would be mean. Still too blue. Then... 9... 4... At least the 9 wasn't in it, it was probably the 8. Yeah. How about you put the 4 last? Okay, we're starting over. Ah, this is hard. Why did you skip your line? You can do it. I'm just, focused. Just I'm for focused. that, you lost your puzzling rights. Now. 
Ooh. One, two, three, four. Two One, hits. One, two, three, four. There you go. Why do you think a four was in it, bro? Because, because the four she got a was hit and no a blow. The four was a blow with all of them. Getting all wrong would be good here. It would be also. Thank you, follow much appreciated. It would be handy. <laughs> Gaming mongoose <laughs> sounds amazing. <laughs> um, How are you doing? So we're stuck on the mastermind puzzle. Tree blow. Okay, okay. I see you're getting lucky. So. Two, three, one, five. I think the two, three, one is it. No, you had two, two blows in the previous one. Three, three blows. Two, three, one. Okay. Don't confuse me. I know I don't know what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'll let you do a full run without saying anything. It's easier if you also write down what you know. What was that? You let me do it. You lost. You lost all of your rights. Yeah, I mean the hit and the blows also help. Okay, fine. Thank you, Bedinsas. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for helping. Not Tifa. I was saying the same thing. Like you're, he's only writing down the combination he's putting in. I really like Mastermind where you could, where you have like the rows where you need to fill in the color thing so that you could see what you did before. I never realized how much easier it made. Oh, I never realized how much easier it made the game. Oh my god! <laughs> I do three one two, right? Puzzles terrifying. Yeah, I've got the numbers. Nine three one two. See, this is, I'm cracking this case. This should be doable. Okay, uh, let's assume the three is the hit. One, nine, three, two. I hate you. <laughs> Uh, blah, okay, blah, two. Blah, blah, blah. two first, maybe? Wait, that also was a hit. That means the last one is a two. Okay. Two more tries. One, two, three, four had two hits. What? But he now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't talk to me. One. Four is not in it. One. Nine. Oh my god. I just tried this one twice. Stop confusing me. I didn't say anything. You're talking to me. I was saying quiet. Stop talking to me. I literally stayed quiet. You're making sounds with your mouth. I was this close to greatness. I think something 23. <sighs> oh, lucky. Mwah, thank you, Bedinzes. Lucky, lucky. Thank you, With everybody help. who helped, not Tifa. <laughs> you told me to be quiet. That's what yes. I did. And why couldn't you? That's not backseating, don't worry. No, thank you, thank you. If I didn't want your help, I would have told you all to cut it out. Thank you very much. Love you all. But you a little less right now. Excuse me. <sighs> that is I don't <laughs> not care. Too as long as I'm okay with it, I'm okay with it. It's great when other people do the dirty work. Exactly, isn't it, Tifa? I did exactly what you said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hello, fabulous. I'm doing amazing. And no thanks to Tifa. <laughs> How are you doing? Happy Sunday. 
I think it's also the funniest thing ever that Jack solved this because on uh, what's the 51 yeah. game thingy? They I also did. have a version of Mastermind. I think it's called something else. I forgot. Yeah, Mastermind is the copyrighted version, right? So it's, yeah. not, it's not bad. I forgot what they called it in that game, but we played Mind like... Master. We played like 10 rounds and you lost all of them. Yes, I, I, I <laughs> couldn't win a single this, one. This thing you just witnessed is the first time, this is not a joke, the first time in my life I ever cleared a game of that sort. And With your help. In, and you did it in hard mode. With your help, not hers, but your help. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, how have you been? How is everything? Tell us all you want to tell us. <laughs> Fabulous. Happy. Sunday as well. I Which said anime Friday. are you watching that you need to mentally heal from? <laughs> Read your line, Tifa. <laughs> what have you been checking? I'm alright, sore from last night after sprinting five blocks to make sure to not miss the last and only train out of Boston. Oof. <laughs> I can't even sprint five. I can't even run for five blocks anymore. I can stand for five blocks, but good on you to make that. <laughs> exactly, you did make it. So hey. The trick to mastermind is to do guesses in pairs like 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66 to eliminate options. That's what smart people would do. And that that's how Tifa usually wins. Makes sense. But I ain't doing that. I've never done the pair thing actually. Yes, you have. I always just go with four colors, color wise. It's also easier in colors now that I think about it. Now you had way more options. It's been in five years since field hockey. Well, you can pick up field hockey again. You still got it. Now, read the line where you praise me, come on. You did it, Sigma. Looks like that was the answer. It was a team effort. You solved it with pedences. pedences. <sighs> that was lucky. Anyway, it seems to have unlocked. Nice. Okay, so it had nothing to do with the board game, but oh God, now... Two rooms! Oh. Now we probably good. get some more info. I'm playing games with friends and binge watching anime, currently watching 12 animes at once. <laughs> Respect and more power to you. I wouldn't be able to do that. What's the one that mentally fucked you up right now? The anime launch crew for like three servers at once. Understandable. Yes. We got some help. I have a morphogenic field. Quite literally, yes. Good thing I was an axe murderer on my part. <laughs> exactly. You <laughs> you were in danger, which allowed you to give and from. <laughs> When you actually say that out loud, it sounds so bad. Because it is. I mean, it helped us, so hey, it was not in vain. My sister and I looked at each other, she said, are you ready for cardio? Nope, as we sprint the distance. But you made it, it's all that matters. Whether you were ready or not, you done it. Does that say Eon? Um, Tifa, yes. can I pay you to not move around with a mouse in the in the text fields for absolutely no reason. I know it's a pet peeve of mine, but still, You're please. You're annoyed by it. I haven't had any other complaints. Because all of these people are very nice and understanding. Look at the other things. I'm not. <laughs> Looks like there are three pots. From the left there pot one, pot two, and pot three. There are numbers on them. You just can't really see them from here. I mean, we are standing. Oh. I have no complaint about Tifa's mouse movements. Thank you. Stop enabling. Her. You're acting like I'm going like woo, whoa. It feels like it. Whoa, like that. It does feel like it. <laughs> Please don't ever do it again. Currently watching a slightly older anime, Revolutionary Goal Girl Utena. It's amazing. My mind is breaking. I can listen for multiverse of Madoka Magic better than this. You lost me at multiverse. Like that. That's like mm. kind of the same. Like I'm kind of done with multiverse at the moment. But it's does it, it doesn't ring a bell, I think. I have to take a while to just process it all when I'm done. I'm in the final few episodes and I'm not ready for it. Right? I get that. We watch it afterwards, make the pain be double. I sometimes take like a break for a week before I finish it then because I just don't want it to be over. Mm. It was for drunk girls' fault. We always miss, we always miss them. Well. <laughs> but you had fun you at the it. wedding, didn't you? Exactly. And you made the train. It's the most important part. Exactly. Dark Lord Noir, happy Sunday. How are you doing? How are you? I think it's on, but has lock unlock symbols on it. Could be. Utina is about uh, lesbian sword fighting and how boarding schools are probably evil. <laughs> okay, I'm quite okay. sure I haven't seen that. 
I feel okay. like I would remember that. Okay, good to know. <laughs> mm. I wasn't even wearing those for bridal party. Oh, I thought it was the wedding. So you get to do it again. Now you know that you can still sprint with distance in this time. Now you still have like two weeks to prepare. Good on you. And now you know to leave the tequila alone. Exactly. Exactly. Good. Something in my eyes. Let's find out about those pods, huh? Oh, yeah. That is the on and then some other symbol, I think. And what the? What's that sound I handle? Eon. But he had points at close. Yeah, I'm not even sure it's an E, but it doesn't really matter. Mm. Also, they've got um <laughs> handles. <laughs> Maybe they're for opening the pots up? Can we click on oh. That seemed way too easy. I saw something on the inside. Can we move the camera? No. Did you just try to move a camera by doing this? No, I tried to like move it. But when I click on this, it closes again, so I guess it's not important. There is nothing here. Yeah, it's empty. No clues or... Wait! There's something written on the inside of the cover. Yes. Q. Part 3. There's nothing particularly odd on the bed. The cover on the other hand. Look... But, uh, oh. I can't look up. Watch me do it. What? What? Watch okay, me. Okay, okay. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. In one go, please. Oh, you actually did it in one go. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> I feel like I did exactly the same. I mean, one eleven. That's probably gonna be important for the clock. The cover for part three. There's something written on it. Maybe click on the text? This looks like a digital clock. 11 hours and one minute. Oh. Oh, yeah, I also wrote that down. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking at it from the perspective of laying in the pot and looking at it. Yeah, That's that gonna be the twist that it's not 11 1, it's 1 11. Makes sense. I like flip the image around. We have a wonderful time without mom and then the wedding mom is going to be there so that will be something. She's been such an issue and hassle for poor Jenny. She's getting married. Wet well, mom would be happy. As long as Jenny is yeah. the one that's now getting married, right? As long as she has fun, I hope she gets the wedding she's looking forward to. Exactly. Should be about that. Bloop. Let's check it out to pots. Wait, we didn't look at this. God, there's screens. There's a message on the screen. Currently undergoing internal maintenance. Please stand by. That is so bright. I guess we can't use this one. Yeah. This isn't bright, Tifa. Your mother's phone is bright. <laughs> this is like half rare for brightness setting on her mom's phone. This is also really bright. The screen says currently undergoing internal maintenance. Looks like we can't use this pot. We can try though. Bloop! Hey, hey, it's, it's a key. key. Oh, and another clock. Let's get the key first. Yeah. Oh. It's a key, isn't it? This just looks like a normal key. Have you seen any keyholes that look like they might fit it? Not yes, clock. actually, we have. So, look. Don't need to click on it. Oh, I did it! I did it! There we go. Um, blah, 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 blah. Twelve. A clock, oh. huh? Is Pearl and Rose also its own enemy? Uh, enemy. Enemy? Trying to... I'm guessing if it's inspired by you, Tina. I also... I feel like I should know them, but I don't. All of this is going like... <laughs> Did you think it was a nipple with two hairs growing out of it? I like how Clover's thinking here. Like now that she says it, I see it. 
But otherwise, I would have never looked at it and thought, hmm, a hairy nipple. Okay, nobody asked, but I do not have hairs growing out of my nipples. And the thought of that, like, happening and, like, wearing a shirt or something over it is, like, I don't know. It, it feels like it could be, like, really tingly and uncomfortable. I mean, you can also consider that it starts just on the edge. I don't... If that makes you feel better. <laughs> I don't know, Clover, I have to check. <laughs> I feel like that is a quote that needs to be added, and I would do it myself, but my laptop died. Because so, it's so not plugged into power. Oh, I, I gotta copy that. What happens when I do this? We will lose game audio for a second. Okay, we're losing game audio for a second, because I feel like this needs to be added. Quote... She's currently uh, struggling with how to type quote. There we go. Oh, I actually got it. Let's get the audio back. There we go. You need to click into the game for that. Clover starts to, oh, starts to learn Sigma's mindset. <laughs> I feel like this Makes is sense. a unique take. Harry Nipple Gang, rise up. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying if, if I have to imagine, I think it would get really itchy. Yeah. It could get really itchy and, and uh, it makes me want to sit like this so that there's no extra itching. <laughs> so it's like one of those Japanese jokes like, is that a mustache or just long nose hair? Is that specifically a Japanese thing? Because I could swear I've seen that in something. Oh, the shitty thing is you can actually, wait, 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 we have memos. You can actually see a man with a hairy nose in it. Like, let's go with the face. Then you Here have the eyes. Here, eyes. Eye. Only look at the green, of course. This is like a little mustache, chin hair thingy. This is the nose. And then here's the nose hair. You see it now? No. Okay, wait, I'll draw it new because the clock in the background might be confusing. We have the face. We have the eyes. Here's the eyes. Yes. You see the eyes? Here's like your chin. Like, like this booty. stuff? Chin fluff? Yeah. Exactly. Here's your, this is the chin fluff, the number six. Then you have the nose. Mm hmm. And then the nose hair. Okay, now I actually see it. You see it? Like and it's easier without the clock behind it. And I hate this, so. <laughs> So I get it. I absolutely get it. Yomo, thank, thank you, you for the lurk. Much. Appreciate it. I also feel like we should take a little lurk and get some water and out of this room for a moment because a I'm lark. going to... So we're, are we going to sit here and watch our own stream? Well, yes, the BRB screen. You confuse me, Tifa. Be right back. Thank you for the clips. BRB. BRB. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I tripped my word over that. <laughs> so, we sit here for a whole 15 seconds already, and I'm like, I, are we both ready? Camera refocused, lights on, everything, window open, we get some oxygen in here. Yeah, can I press the button? Yeah. I was like, okay, are you ready now? Yeah. The moment I press it, she gets another hiccup. I didn't feel it. I just noticed when I started talking. Also, now I don't know if I said it before or not. Thank you for the clips. Thank you for the clips. So my question was, are you ready? And Tifa's answer should have been, <clears throat> of course not. <laughs> the hands are pointing to 620. No, it's not. I doubt that, but... The long one is the... It's the it's minute the sign. No, the short what? one is the minute. No. Are Dutch clocks different? It is 6.20. Actually, actually, yeah, 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 you're right. The long of course one. I am. I haven't seen a clock like this in so long. But yeah, the long one is the minute sign. Yeah, yeah. I, yes. take, I take it back. There is one place in Austria, I forgot which city, where it's actually swapped. Is it? Yes. And... 
I, I know this because I read up on it once when I went to Austria and now I will tell you so you know. Originally in that town, I think it's Graz, I could be wrong. Originally, they only had one clock on their church building, I believe, for the entire town back in the olden days. And back then, the minutes were not that important. The hours were more important. So they Makes only sense. had one hand on the clock, one for the hour. And that was, well, the length it was. And then later they added a minute one and that one is shorter. And well, now, makes sense that one that's confuses how people. Your clock has been all along. Your clock has been all along? Yeah, if your clock has had the long one on the hour all along, it makes sense to leave it at that. Fair enough. <laughs> it's 104 p.m. <laughs> I think you're still recovering from being sick, aren't you? I'm sure it's 6.20 somewhere. Mm. Probably not, but still. Even though I don't think this is 6.20, because again, with a perspective changed from laying inside of this, this is... Um... No, but the 12 makes it clear this is how you look at it. Wait, this is 12... 12.50. Yeah, carry on. I'm just getting both solutions of a puzzle. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to put this in twice as a code and one is the way we're supposed to read it oh. and the other one is where we weren't supposed to read it. Now there's one here. These clocks are gonna be really confusing. Also, aren't they? one second, I forgot to write down which pot goes where. Okay. This is a clock. The hands are pointing to 715. This is part one, right? Yeah. Part one. Uh, dip, dip. 12 goes there. 715. Uh, one sec, if you... If I flip this around. If, if you flip this around, you wouldn't be able to see it. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, on, it's on the, on the metal outside. part. Yeah. These puzzles are getting out of hand. They... I see what you did there and I like it. Out oh, of... hands. <laughs> it confused her. It took me a puzzles. second. A couple of seconds. Are you sure you're reading it right? Yeah. See the 12? That's the top. <laughs> a second? <laughs> I corrected it to several seconds. T for seconds. <laughs> oh, not a key. Oh, yeah. There's something in here. A key? I think this is called a dimple key. It's pretty thick, too. I've never that's, seen a key like that. That's a thing, I guess, because of the little bumps in it. They're called dimples, yeah. I've yeah, never seen it either. Check the thing. I'm checking. Cover for part one. Seems pretty normal to me. Okay. So here, what does it mean that it's on the outside? Look at side? the time again on part one. Okay, if you turn that around, it is like one forty-five. Does that sound about right? Uh, no, eleven forty-five. Would it? No, 145. Yeah, Flip it upside after. down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We didn't look at this screen yet. You can keep clicking on it, Tifa. You need to get away from the thing first. <laughs> There's a message on the screen. Maintenance complete. Please insert activation chip. Oh. What does it mean about an activation chip? Well, I guess it's a chip we insert to activate the pod. You think? Why are you being like that? This is important, we... Okay, okay, I get it. We need to get Quark into one of these, right? Yeah. Well, we don't have a chip yet. Where's the going Maybe up? we'll get one from the clock. Anything here? No. We Sliding to the side. Just shimmying sideways. Oh. And... Let's see which key the clock needs. Well, let's unlock the clock first. 
It yeah. was open. It was the dimple one. <laughs> it's open. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll grab this thing first. Chip with number one. That's the chip. Oh, for the pot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A chip with a green light on it. I'm not sure what it does. You want to do that first? We still don't have anything to... Can you, can you examine the, the plants we took along, please? Oh, we have a plant. There's a bit of red plastic sticking out of a trunk. It's in there real good, though I can't pull it out. We still need something to... Cut that. Wait, and we also go to the jellyfish. We need to go to the jellyfish. We need the other key for that. And you're turning the wrong way. Excuse me? Oh, for the jellyfish. I thought for yes. the keys. It's like I can't even turn another way. There we go. There's a lid on the tank. You can't open it? Nope. It looks like it's locked. Well, it's got a keyhole. And I guess we need to unlock it if we want to open it. Mm, Sigma? What? I think you can unlock it right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now I should be able to open this thing. What the hell? There's a second lid. <laughs> yeah, but it's got a hole in the middle. If you stick your hand in there, maybe you can grab that one with the, with the meat in it. Mm. It's not meat. Poor jellyfish. Or whatever. Let's give it a shot. And then this jellyfish really stings. My chair agrees. Ah, hot! Shit, this water's really hot. Hot water? Really? Really. Then these bubbles? Yeah, it's boiling. What the fuck? Have you ever seen jellyfish in boiling water? I think so they're, they're fake. fake. Yeah. At least I don't think you should boil jellyfish like that. No way! No jellyfish could survive in boiling water. They are aliens! Yeah. If we really are on like a moon base, are yes. we the aliens? I don't know, but you need to sit like a human. <laughs> Ranger, thank you. I mean, currently we are. She goes straight. You always go back right into the same position. I sit My straight. idea was to make you sit like this. Like, no one sits do you like see this the space? in a chair. I sit like this all the time. Yeah, like I said, no one does. You're the alien. Do you do you sit in a chair and not have your back against the leaning thing? Because that's what he does. Please back me up on those people. No, it's for, for real. Who for, 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 for real. sits in a chair and does not have their back against the leaning thing? It's called like on purpose and keeps sitting like sitting, that. Tifa. I lean forward, I lean back, I lean to the right, I lean to the left. That's not called active sitting. Yeah. No. We should try and get the purple one to rise up to the top somehow. If we can get it right under the hole in the lid, I think I can grab it. You can move a free jellyfish by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. Move a purple jellyfish to the hole using the water currents in the tank. If you move one of the yellow jellyfish to the hole instead, you are a failure and we are very disappointed in you. I love this. I do that all the time, like every time I type. Well, if you type, I can understand if you want to get like closer to the keyboard. Well, but Tifa, like you're to... the only person who doesn't move when she's sitting. But to actively sit and like just sit. No one sits like this. I am doing it right now. What the... If you, if you sit, do you sit with your back against the leaning thing of your chair? I think for what is or for you, you being not? a failure. No, I think that's you. Now, Tifa exaggerates. Tifa, Tifa does this. The Swedish word for alien, Otomjordin, means outside earthling. So even if they're not on earth, they're still not aliens from my point of view. There you go. I guess that meaning makes it clear. Sometimes I sit with my back leaning against the chair back, sometimes not. Try. So how about Don't you move I... your chair back a little? I only do at work sometimes, maybe. How but about then you my... move your chair back a little? What? You... A little bit more. A little bit more. What? A little bit more. And... 
Look, now she's sitting straight. That doesn't sit nice at all. Yeah, because your back is so messed up, you don't even remember what it's like to sit like this. That's the German or Dutch know. word for alien. Alien. Außer Irdische. Not alien, you can also say in German. Funnily enough, um, in German, alien is also a gendered word. It's... What did I just say? I just said the word, now I forgot about it. Außer... Außer Irdische, if it's a guy, and Außer Irdische, if it's a girl. German is super weird when it comes to gendering every single thing. It's really Everything an annoying is language. Yes. Every single word is gendered. And Der it's Tisch. so annoying. Table in English is a guy. Like you can't Don't just talk right. about just is. colleagues, for example. You have Kollegen und Kolleginnen. Which you is can't have why. A female doctor. Yeah, Doktoren. Which is why, for the last couple of years, Germany has this huge thing about gender-inclusive language where people started using like an asterisk or a colon at Which the end of a word. Really if you're not used to it, yes, I've gotten used to it because for work I have to do it too. Like for a um, foreigner, so that reading it German, reads both. it makes reading harder, especially with an asterisk in between. Because you didn't learn it that way. Yeah, I guess. Just saying, once you get used to it, it makes sense to me. And hey, if I can help somebody feel more included by putting a colon in my word, I'll just put the colon there. Like, you know, it's no I'm not against inclusive language. I'm against the German language in general. Fair having enough. a gender for every word instead of just being... It's like in French too. I find it really annoying. Funnily enough, in French, the moon is female and in German, the moon is male. It, it makes no sense. It, it, it just happened. Right? Just alien in Dutch. Mars manager could be used also, but that's technically Martian. <laughs> yes, that is true. Mars manager is more like when you're talking about it in a fun way, but I think most people just go with Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's not the scientific word for Martian. Instead of gender for all nouns until we have a spelling reform around the 1900 switch. I read a text that more or less said, I lit a cigarette and then put him out, which gave me a pause. See, it's just a matter of language evolving a certain way. Mm. I feel like it was easier to do that back then. You know, then <laughs> I, I didn't have language. to deal with it. <laughs> now let's okay. see if Tifa is a disappointment. Okay, let's do this. Okay, uh. this looks... This is a Pokemon sliding puzzle, come on. This looks like germs. A little bit, yeah. Oh, they all move, I see. Okay, so this way that one goes first. So we need to get rid of... Hey, she did it! You are not a disappointment. That was surprisingly easy. Gotta grab a jelly fast! What the heck? Jellyfish and fast, because the water is hot. That was a good one. Yeah, I like it. Jelly fast. Artificial jellyfish. What's the red thing? This kind of looks more like a slice of fish. A slice? Oh, now I see it, yeah. That's the This is like the skin. Yeah. The inner layer. We, we don't need more details. Oh, look, there's an examine button. Yay, Tifa is a failure. <laughs> I'm so glad no one has to be disappointed in me. This is Ellen. She's a mysterious intelligent life form from the outer reaches of space. Hi, Ellen. Don't give it a name. Here. Good thing we're gonna cut Ellen open now to get to the slice of meat. Hmm. Here, take it. Hey, stop it. What if it grabs onto my face and lay eggs in me or something? Ha! <laughs> Come on, it just wants to give you a hug. Besides, it's not even alive. Doesn't say it's anything. It's a thing, man-made, like a toy or something. But it's digesting a chunk of meat. That's not meat! Then what is it? Hold on. I'll pull it out now. It's a circular tile. You mean like a salmon that has been sliced yes, correctly? Yes, just like yeah. chopped through. Basically. It's human flesh! No, it's not. It's a ceramic tile. Oh well, yeah, I guess it's only red on one side. 
Okay, so now... And what is it on the other side, then? We put that oh, in here. Oh, I forgot about the lion. Yep. Fits perfectly. Yeah. I don't think I did anything... Look! Huh? For a oh. second I thought the ice was starting to move. Oh, what does that do? What the heck is this? A laser? Also, how tiny are we? Like, we're now looking at it from below. And we this fell is backwards. Where, this is where the door... Oh, okay. I'll take that explanation. Gosh, I didn't think there'd be something like this behind that picture. A hook? Oh, yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> it's also available where you buy stuffed animals. A very unpopular product for some reason. Which one? The wrongly sliced fish? <laughs> Want... Of a jellyfish. I would say. I think for fake I... jellyfish, right? I would like this stuffed animal. For jellyfish. See, I'm smart. And okay, please okay. give me some of that weird smelling fish. That sounds so bad. I'm a not. laser. Yes. This thing is shining a laser beam across the room. If only. Let's check my items first. No, where is... We don't have an item for the laser beam. And if okay. it cuts, we're standing right in it. Maybe it doesn't cut humans, it cuts trees. Should have been beheaded. Let's like see... Pokemon Adrian. What this thing is aiming at. Oh, we need to... Oh, oh wait, now we open oh. the pot. Let's... I see what we're doing here. We still have that weird board game, by the way. Your weird board game. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Got more hiccups. Open. And now it... Oh, no! What are you... Oh, I did it again. Tifa, you are a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> For very different reasons than anybody anticipated, but... Oh... It's a laser. Oh, oh, 15? No, okay. Wait, open it. That was too fast, sorry. At the time again? Yeah. And if you read this the other way around, it is 51. 51. Oh, oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It's stuffed rabbit toys for my nieces last Christmas. Last weekend I found out they had a name from. Oh, that's so cute. That is adorable. What did they name? We can get a name if all you of your share. plushies. What would you name a stuffed rabbit? Lelouch. I mean, maybe, yes. Also, we were just in there. Why didn't we use the chip? Oh, yeah. Well, might as well now, no? Make sure the door keeps sliding. <laughs> this way it doesn't rust. <laughs> it makes sense. Um, to this one. Oh, look! The color changed. I think it says something too. There's a message on the screen. Before use, this system must be initialized. Please perform the following tests. 1. Treat vegetation. Before I do anything, I need a treat. treat. <laughs> Not vegetation. I think it's about put a plant in there. Two, freeze, vegetation. Ice cream works. No, not getting any more. Until tests are complete, pot will not function with human occupant. There's a mosquito on the wall. Deal with it. What the heck is this? We can't put a person in there until it runs its tests. Seems pretty clear to me. And what about quark? So we put our plants in, freeze them, and then we can break them apart and take the chip out? Yeah. Don't worry. We just need to run the test. Something about treating and freezing a plant? Yeah. Treating makes sense, these being treatment pots and all, but freezing? Well, we don't really have a choice, do we? We gotta follow the instructions. Come on, we don't have time to just sit around. We gotta do these tests so we can get cork into one of these pots. Yeah, right. Got it. 
Also, if this thing literally... instructions unclear, quark stuck in pod. <laughs> if this thing really freezes the plant we put in, do we really want to put quark in it? Yes. Okay, I put the withered plant down. What do we do next? Let's try closing the pot. Right, here goes. I didn't even need to click for it this time. One of the uh, stuffed bunnies is called Molly. I don't know if the older one had named hers. Molly sounds like a really cute name for a bunny. I think everyone automatically names their pets, so I'm sure the other one also has a name. Probably. Identifying subject. Done. Diagnosing subject. Done. Initiating treatment cycle. This sounds very science fiction. Yeah. Nope. Also like something is spinning. Treatment completed. Pod opening. Hey, wasn't this the withered one? Yes. Doesn't look very withered now. What the heck is this? That plant was practically dead a minute ago. No way! No way! That's impossible! It's like magic. Well, we won't need this plant anymore. Well, where's the chip? He's done a good job. Thank you for your service, sir. But where's the chip? Oh my god, put the old lady in there! I have a feeling it would fix the wound, but she would not necessarily come back to life. Well, the plant did. Or maybe she will and we're gonna go super creepy. But that's a good idea. The plant absolutely did? Yeah. It's like a plant that has practically died, but if you give it a good shower, it will be nice and healthy in a few days. I guess you can't compare the plant to a human. Yes, but also oh, not if it's in this household, it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> I wish this thing was see-through because I wanted to see what happened here. Hmm. Huh? Hey, it looks like there's something here. It must be the thing that was stuck in the trunk. Whatever the treatment was, not... That's a mean typo on your text there, game. <laughs> Whatever the treatment was, must have pushed it out. Okay, so that's... now we put the other plan in? Yes. No, okay. This time it's the healthy plan's turn. And now this one will be dead. I wonder if so it will no. work. Who knows? Let's just close it up. Bye! Gimme chip. Identifying subject. Done. Diagnosing subject. Done. Initiating freeze cycle. I'm still trying to imagine how the chip gets pushed out with this, but sure. Morphogenetic force fields. I'll take it. Freeze test complete. Part opening. Oh, this is actually frozen. That looks cool. There's a frozen plant lying in the pod. Oh wait, the first thing was just a test. Oh my... Oh, that's a huge mosquito. That's not a mosquito, that's a that's day a long, fly. That's a long poke mug. It's a long legged mosquito and it's fucking huge. Hey, please close that door before the other mosquitoes also get out. The insect that just entered our apartment is... Uh, it's casting shadows on the wall. Is roughly the size of two rangers. I will lock it in with us. Why do I have a feeling it's gonna yeah. break the green screen? It That's could. how big it is. It very well could. If this thing lands on me, we have a problem. <laughs> That's a long part. <laughs> yeah, I fucking I don't know what the English name for it, it is. It looks like a mosquito, but it's about a hundred times the size. You know those mosquitoes with super long legs that are harmless, unlike their small. Two rangers. <laughs> Ranger cell is uh, known for being surprisingly compact in terms of stature. So I like to do the very cerebral and smart thing and overthink my jokes and just call him out for being short. Also, we really need to get something for insects at this yes, window. Because every yes, time we open it, it's like... Phew. Yes, we do. I don't know for super big mosquitoes. Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky you. They are not the ones that sting you, but they have like these super tall skinny legs. What's the English term for them? I don't know. Big freak mosquito. 
So at least the woe wasn't played. Okay, but the first one, oh yeah, the first one was just a test, so it didn't yes. actually freeze. Yes. And now it did. Yes. It's totally frozen stiff. Probably because of your lame joke. Did, did I say something? Look, the leaves are all crunchy. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh. That's <laughs> how we get it. <laughs> oh man, what you do, Clover? It's all broken now. But, but... Whatever. Just help me clean it up. I can only think of teddy long leg spiders, but those are spiders. Imagine that, that but with but wings. Flying. Yeah, that but with wings. Yeah. It, it's It looks I'm exactly like there. those but wings. Yes. Best not to think about. Huh? This wasn't here before. It's that plastic thing that was stuck in the trunk. It must have fallen out when the plant shattered. Okay, now let's go. <laughs> Imagine it. Ah, <laughs> that's why I said you should. <laughs> They're completely harmless, but still. Yes, they just look like <clears throat> weird monsters. Hmm. Alright, I think that should complete both of the tests. So hurry up and put cork in. I know, I know. So after this plant has been frozen solid. Yes. We just still decide it's a good idea to put cork in. Yes. Why? Because the game tells us to. No, why would you think it's a good idea to still put cork in? See, that's the weird thing, no? Because we don't... <laughs> Frozen quark is tasty. Yes. <laughs> you can use that as a, as a dessert. That's true. Um, I mean, neither Clover nor Sigma have commented on this yet, but I have a feeling that they both morphogenetically remember that this is a treatment pod so it, it's like a cryopod it literally says it on the door yeah treatment for what treatment for being warm so it deep freezes you we know they're treatment pods that's not a morphogenetic field thing but the fact that you just even if it says treatment pod it just froze a plant that broke when we touch it what yes. still makes you think it's a good idea to put quark in there? Because I want to make a quark sickle. Yeah, I agree. It's a crane fly in English. I've heard that term before. Thank you for looking that up. Yes, that's it. A crane fly? I've never heard of that. Thank you. Well, no, but it's, it's a, a massive German crane fly that's already gone. fliege? That would be the literal translation of both of these words. I know, I know. Hang on. There we go. He's sure sleeping pretty hard, huh? You never think he's sick? I guess that subroll stuff is pretty strong. Yeah. So, what do we do now? How about closing the cover like we did before? That should start the automatic diagnosis. Got it. This is such a bad idea. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, Tenmi Yuji, um, remember that you were here with your grandson? I believe you called him Quark. Well, um, he is, is frozen right now. I it think. was Clover's idea. We had nothing to do with it. It's true. Weird observation, but Quark has long fingers. All the characters seem to have that. Yeah. Quarky long fingers. I hate you. He's cool now. Yes, he is. Quite literally. Identifying subject. Done. Diagnosing subject. Done. Single human occupant secured. Beginning treatment. Is he going to be okay? Maybe we should check the screen. Yeah. Quark took a chill pill. Nah, we're just gonna trust the process, am I right? He became the chill pill. Long fingers is another symptom of awesome sex. <laughs> Laughing long fingers is really nice. Do I have long fingers? Not really. Wait, same hand on same hand. Well, you have longer fingers than me. Longer than yours, but okay. you're also shorter than me, so it makes sense. Hmm. Slightly. Oh. Yes, Tifa, are you okay? I do this line first, and then. 
I accidentally scrolled oh. the mouse up. I have stubby fingers, I'm a short person. See? You can make salad with his long fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no. 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 Long fingers are extra good for getting pickles out of a pickle jar. Ooh, yes. you have a good point. Yes. yes. And having slightly longer fingers than Tifa always makes me think like I can try to like get the pickle in the jar. And when I get the pickle jar water all over my fingers and then I still can't get the pickle because it moves and then I just get a fork and then I go... Yeah. And then I can't get it out because it's like the, the monkey with a hand in the ant's nest thing. Like I, I get the thing but then it's like... Yeah. I need to do way too much detail for getting a pickle. <clears throat> I think this is some kind of readout of Quark's vital signs. Body temperature, pulse rate, blood pressure, respiration frequency. They all look normal. What a relief. Wait. There's something else down at the bottom. Radical 6 virus detected in subject. System is not equipped to treat Radical 6. Current program will alleviate symptoms but cannot cure viral infection. No. What the heck? Then what was the point of putting him in there? Well, I don't think there was no point. After all, it says it can alleviate the symptoms. But... Hold on. Let's keep looking. It says more. This system is capable of inducing a cold sleep state. Cold sleep state freezes subject with CAS, preserving cellular structure. During cold sleep state, body functions are suspended, preventing viral spread. Activate sleep function. I don't think that's our decision to make. Yes, no. C cold sleep? What the heck is that? I have no idea. But remember the freezing test? Oh, now we suddenly think that's not good. Whatever, we need to get out of here and tell everyone else about this. What should we tell it to do? Huh? Do we put him in cold sleep? Activate sleep function? Yes, no. No. No question. What if he got smashed like we planned? No, it is. See? They thought about that. They didn't even know if it would do that automatically. It did it to the plant. Uh, does Quark have a white blood for it? Oh, They've they not dropped that up again yet and I don't think anybody has checked that yet. Oh, that's kind of shitty because we should have known after giving him the shot at least one drop of blood should have come out. Potentially. But we don't know. Yeah. And they never mentioned the white blood again so it, it's still just my head cannon, but it's like anti-freeze. So. Part 1 currently contains Quark. There's a clock drawn above a handle. Quark is in this pot and it's treating him right now. I probably shouldn't open it. Okay, so bye Quark. See you later. Can we put something heavy on top of the pot just in case he wakes up without us there and he like has this whole like suicidal freakout moment? Yes, let's make it worse by locking him in a coffin-like thing that he can't open. Well, that way he can only do uh, damage to himself. I'm dead already. I'll just stay calm in this thing. No, but <laughs> I'm not what, saying it's a mean. good choice. I'm saying if I have somebody in this group who we know is willing to use a scalpel on himself and he's actively fighting others. I get others, what you mean, but no. I'd rather this person be locked up. I'm, it, I'm not and then he breaks it, it and it accidentally starts the freezing thing. Meh. Not our fault. Look, there's a hand on the face now. Is this a minute hand? It's pointing to five past... Nothing. Here we go. It did it again. There's another hand. It looks like an hour hand. It's pointing to four o'clock. No, it's a clock hand. Doesn't even look like your hand. So, number four is four. Oh, five. I don't think this means anything. Yes, it does. Can we move this? I don't think so, no. 
Okay. There's a card in each slot. I thought we could somehow now move this to a certain time. No, I think time. this is like light. Do you think the clock times have to do yes. with the board game? Yes, we have oh, to. minutes because... and hours. Oh my god, that's, that's what, what the M&H stood for. Now it makes sense. Yes, now we can that's solve it. that. Smart. Um, okay, let's leave that in there, I guess. Sometimes smart. Do we need to go back to the board game for that? Could we even fill anything in here? Oh no, that's for the... Where did we have to fill this in? The On our tablet. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking, maybe this is some sort of password hint. Mm -hmm. Come on! For the tablet! It had some kind of login screen, right? Yeah, so? Well, you need a four-letter password. And we've got the numbers one through four on the left side of this board game looking thing. Don't you feel like there's got to be a connection? Um, okay, get the, show me the no, board. get the tab out again. Oh. You didn't need to do that. Just go to the menu. Actually, no, you need to use the item. Oh, we look at it here. Wait. No, look, get How are the, we going to move it is the question. Go to the items, use the tab. I need the clue again with getting the two passwords. Items? So what do you need? I need you to use the freaking item. Oh, that's what you meant with tab. A tablet. The screen says the following. Four pieces for the first password. One piece for the second password. What does it? How about we first figure out? No, 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 no. We we got everything now, Tifa. Stop pressing weird things. There. Yes, we need this. Yes, and we have everything written down here. So, what do yeah, you want? I was gonna go to the archive. Why are you getting? This is the archive. Annoyingly frustrating. Because you're not using me. So, what do you want first? Well, the question is, how do we need to move it? Well, if we go with the number one part, yes? Yes. Let's start with the hour so, then. First, it read 11.01. You think that's 11 steps then? Or do we need to yes, look at this steps. as a time? Okay, so let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Which I is will write F. all of these down. F. What's the minutes? 1. So T. That doesn't make any sense, right? Okay, so let's not do that. Um, now, if you put that in reverse, it's 111, so that would be TF. FTTF doesn't. What if we need to see this as 1101? No. no, that can't work. We had three parts and the clock set number four. Oh, wait. Oh, now I get it. Wait, I'm, I'm dumb. So. The first letter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11. 11 hours. But then one minute the other way is M. So. Oh, yeah. no. okay. That's how you see it. That could actually be. But wait, that was... We have four times. Sorry, that, that was not the first, that was the third part we read from red to left. So, something, something, M, something. Um, What's the second? What's the first one? Let's start there. We just... Oh, first one. <laughs> um, 7.15. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then... Does this one count as one? Or do I go one here? One here. Yeah, one back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, which makes it a G. Okay, second one, six twenty. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, which is the Y, and then I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Y again. Why? <clears throat> and number four is four oh five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. B. Jim B. But then we still have the... If you read them in reverse, if you flip them in the head. No, we have two for... Two for the second code. Let's first try to fill this in. Yeah. Jim B. Something. If we did this correctly. We did not do this correctly. For ordinary banana cannot cancel juicy pears. So go find me kiwis and soon your utensils rot. Have lunch. I Sounds. appreciate that you can look at the letters and make that whole thing up. Because I'm already confused just trying to solve a puzzle. That's one way to remember the order at least. One, two... Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You need to think, or you think we one, need to move two, one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Do you start on the error or on the T? We can I counted the T as one. Now yeah. we're. And now I'm not counting the T. Moving it up one. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I don't think that's the code. One way to find out. I wish I could think of something more appropriate than your utensils rot. Your double O. 15 on the last code, so 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, S, S, Y. Your, uten your utensils rest. 1, 2, 3, 4. Makes lunch having harder. S, S, Y, O. Well, let's try. Oh. Oh. S, S, Y, O. Nope. This is also... Also, wait. Do you think your udon rests? <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. It makes me hungry though. And then do you, you can have lunch. Do you think we have to do the minutes first? Because it says minutes and hours, not hours and minutes. We can try. So, number one, 715. Uh, do we count the T or not? Sorry. 15 and 7 back. Well, where do I start with the 1? Just for the T? Do it. Uh, 15, you said? Mm -hmm. 1, 2, no. 3. What? I just said, do I start minutes here with the 1? Minutes first. Wait a minute, it's this way. 1, 2, yes. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so... And then the hours back? Yeah. How much is that? 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. P. So we've got P. Okay, yeah, one sec. All right, next one, um, 20. One, oh, 20 is T. It's once around the board. Is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh no. One step back. L. Okay. Six. Uh six, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. <laughs> We've got P. <laughs> if I wasn't so like mind-bendingly confused about this puzzle, I would have chuckled at that as well. Just like <laughs> um, third one. 
zero fifteen. So I only do the fifteen. Yes. One, two. The wrong way. Oh, the minutes. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's us. Okay, and that's four, uh, five minus four. Five, one, two, three, four, T. Okay, that spells past. If we got this right. I think we, that, that's an actual word and that makes sense. That does kind of make sense. Past. It was that. There we go. Now the worst thing is going to be figuring out the second solution. Well, we can try a few combinations. Brute force it. Good job. You locked in. Yeah, but look at the screen. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's the first code. I thought it was going to be pass, also would have made sense. Yeah, but I, it's I was passed. waiting for that as well. I have a feeling we now need to get, come with numbers. Puzzle. Huh? This is... It's a password for the safe. You okay. found the safe password. Alright, examine again. A tablet. Four pieces for the first password. One, one piece, piece of a second. One piece. One. Are we gonna solve the puzzle of a one piece? Why, Tifa? Oh, wait, I thought we would fill in the rest after. No. So, one piece that makes four letters. So. Maybe it's the 1101. That's the one code that didn't. That's the one code that got changed. Wait. If we if we try to deduce, there was one code. No, wait. I, I was thinking. Um, in the pods, two of the codes were inside the pods, and one of them wasn't. Mm, the first one was outside. Yeah. Do you think that's it? Because that one sticks out, but when I'm thinking, the, clock the also fourth sticks one out. is the clock and that's outside, so it also doesn't work. I think the only reason why it's outside is because Quark went inside. I know the alternate way to get the other code. There's Let's an alternative see. way. Forcing it, maybe. maybe it's like what's another word for pa past, future? What's is there a four-letter word for future? Wait. <laughs> that would have been so <laughs> nice. Current. Past. No, don't look at the keyboard. If we want to brute force us, look at this. That doesn't make it better. Do we still have any clues? I'm gonna give you all a hint because honestly I don't expect you to get it. Wait, look. Yes, you also got the choice. Why would you click away the solution thing? Because I was filling in the thingy. Oh, that's the wrong one. Why did you? No, it was the right thing. We still need to input the code. Please. You said you wanted the other screen. Yes, the archive, but I need the game for that. Oh, here you can just click on it. <sighs> Dude, the circus uh, is a board game. If you're only using one piece every time you move, you'd be moving from where? Uh, where's the thing here? From the T. Oh, we go through all of them, but no, wait. If each make number sense. was its own piece, where would each piece be starting from? That makes no sense. You're confusing me. I appreciate the attempt at trying to help us, but I don't get it. Oh, we do the minutes and the hour. Oh, wait, we do all of them again. But when we land on one, so the first one was, what was it? P. P. 
Now we do the second one starting at B. Okay, let's try that. Let's see um, if it works. So, second code was 620. Um, so, 6 back, 20 one, forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 20 forward? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh. Okay, so it's P O. Um, third one. <laughs> Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I skip one? I have no idea. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Pow. P O U. How okay. do you get to the U? Four. Oh, here. You're pointing at it. Don't so we it's still not need you? to go another way? No, we it, only it, did it was minutes. zero fifteen. Oh, okay. Uh, four hours five minutes. <laughs> it landed on my face. Yes, but Super remember, tiny mi minutes first, five minutes, four hours. One, two, three, four. Four minutes. Oh, wait, you're doing it right. Four minutes. Pour. One, two, three, four, five. Pour, as in to pour a drink. A word, the Y, not an R. Is that it? Okay, pui. What? No. Try okay. pour. There! Tifa had it right, then Jack fucked you up. I said okay. poor! She Thank said you. why? I think you've got your facts wrong. Five forward, four back from you. Yeah, See? you said the wrong number. Did I? So I went the other way. Well, I meant that. <laughs> poor and the juicy, juicy pear, pear juice. juice. It's I always mean, pears. I'm not a fan fun fact. I'm not a fan uh, I'm not a fan of pear juice, but I do really like pear ice cream. Which is kind of the same. Yeah, you're the only person. You said four minutes forward, five hours back. Oh yeah, I did. Well, Sorry about that. Thank you for the hint. That helped. <laughs> I thought so. No, definitely would not have gotten that. Nice work, Sigma. Yeah, I guess. Hey, you basically sabotaged us. I called the password. Oh wait, look. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. This one is different. All the symbols are in different spots. Oh. Star, star, star. Oh. Let's go. Tifa is spinning. Let's mm. see if she can remember where to get to the safe. No. <laughs> that only took three attempts. This is a safe, right? Yeah. Just like the ones in the AB room and infirmary. It should open when you plug the right password. Plug in the right password. Assuming it works like the others, of course. Let's do this one first. Swing. Ba-doom. Completed. <laughs> you did it! You opened it! A gold file. It's empty. It's oh, empty. Fine. This is the first time you're playing this game. <laughs> what was the other one again? Yeah, don't remember, huh? I forgot. No. The middle is the moon, then star on the right and sun at the bottom. Oh, no. That was not a... Oh, no! I expected it to reset. There we go. Good thing I wrote that down, huh? <laughs> Phew, it's open. Good job! That's twice you opened it. I know, I'm pretty good. Is that a flashlight? Whoa, what? that thing looks dangerous. There, a flashlight. That's the Accelerator gun. Oh, yeah, I didn't look. I'm not only looking at this bit. You mean this gun thing? Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. I think this is just an injection gun. It's a helpful tool, not a weapon. Are you sure? I think that kind of depends on what's in that file there. That's true. The label says Neo Stigmine. Hmm, what did you just say? 
Neostigmine? Why does it mean something? Uh, let me see it. Neostigmine. Neostigmine. New something something? I feel like I've heard some of that somewhere before. No good. I can't remember. Damn. I don't think it's bad though. Do you have any proof? Nope. Of course not. Let's use it on you. Could you let me hang on to this? Are you sure it's not dangerous? <laughs> what would you do if it was? Alright. I trust you. You don't seem like a bad person. <laughs> Thanks. Then how about I let you take me on a date sometime? What was this? The suspension bridge effect? Yeah, here we go with the romantic feelings. <clears throat> if we get out of here in one piece. Hmm. Cool. Moving on. We've still got a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, but it's all flat stuff. Uh, yes, it is. First we've got... Very observant. A map. Floor B. The map I found in the infirmary said floor A. I guess that means floor A is the top floor. I mean, we took the elevator down to get here, right? Yeah, that sounds right. Up next, some grey cards. Key cards. They've got moons on them too. These must be the moon keys the announcer was talking about. There are two of them, just like with the sun keys. One for you and me. And the other one's for Quark. But he's... Sigma kind of clover. <laughs> That's already taken. Yeah. <laughs> By Honest Psycho. <laughs> yes. Our resident lunatic. <laughs> well, there's not, much point. <laughs> there's not much point in giving it to him. I'll hang on to it for now. Okay, what's next? A piece of paper with something written on it. Oh, there's the extra rules. Okay, if you don't I'm all... Skip this. Uh, if somebody in your group doesn't vote, or if all of you in the same group don't vote, then yeah. Oh well, there's no reason not to pick ally an extra air. Right. Next round, anyway. Of course, we've got to get out of his room first. And that will be easy. Just look at the last thing in the safe. The key to the exit. Let's go. There we go. Schwing. Maybe we'll teach the bite sized psy class if I put me in the honorary game. <laughs> bite sized? Oh. You mean the 48 minute monologue about. Uh, the suspension bridge effect and its usage in popular culture. You need to make it like a whole stretched out thing. Preferably while the group is currently stuck inside a freezer and about to die. That seems about right. Yeah. That's, that seems like the best moment to have like these deep conversations. If I had to pick a moment, it would definitely be that. Yeah. This is a lot for the exit. It says lock right now. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. You found it. Nice. This was one of the more annoying rooms. An gate has been <laughs> the moment uh... we opened the door. Oh dear. It was him. Oh dear. dear. I find this a great moment to save. Yeah, I might as well. We uh, need, no, Tifa, we need to stream for two hours and 24 seconds longer. Two hours, 20 seconds. We can do that on Tuesday. How do I crash this game? I'll crash <laughs> you. Wow. Yeah, long monologue is more in line with Uchikoshi's writing. Yes, we and at the worst possible moment. Haven't really moments. had a lot of those yet in this game. We've only had some from Phi. No. Well, it um, was about science and stuff when it came to the bomb. Yeah, but no, that, that also included Phi, where she was like, and then babies, and then potential. And but that was after the long dialogue we already had. Okay, fair enough. 
I, I think like in terms of like getting words in, Fai is leading by far. She's like I mean, the exposition spouting device in this game so far. Yes, but we've also had the most time with Fai so far. So she also had That's the true. most chance to say lots of words. That's true. What's on Tifa's sweater? See Rattle at Tirova. <laughs> yes. It is. It's screaming can't. I like how you roll backwards, but when you stretch it down, okay, you will need to go even more backwards. Oh. There you go. But it's flipped, of course, because we are sitting in opposite thingies, because for some reason Jack prefers to have the no. camera flipped around. I'm sitting on the right side, and I'm on the right side on the screen. It makes sense. Because this way, if I point to my right, I'm pointing to my right. I yeah, point to my left, I point to my left. Well, doesn't matter. Yes, it's one of our shirts that we made. But you can get yourself if you want to. This one has screaming cat on. One of our... Best cats. My most used emote, I think. <laughs> it's this thing. Wait, where is it? Born from a mistake. Uh, mistake? It, yes. Immortalized was... by its greatness. That was artistic greatness. I mean, it's nightmare fuel. In 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 emote form, it works because it's small, and you get the idea. It's like you get it, but like sitting next to it and like having it be large is like a whole different <laughs> thing. Yeah. Well, I think it works. I'm just saying. It's not the worst thing we've done. That is true. Yeah. Do you know what also works? Me tomorrow. It's Monday. That too. I was gonna go with me calling it a night because tomorrow I physically have to go to work and it's gonna be extra early and it's gonna suck and I just wanna play Baldur's Gate and I can't Fair. until I'm home and it's bleh. Dead. Meh. Is it meant to look like the cat has a willy between his legs? That's... Oh, those are the legs or that's the feet. That's a colorful spot, actually. Oh, I... It's I'm... the same shade of brown as a splotch on the other parts of a cat, too. I never actually noticed that. It's only three colors. It's white, orange, and brown. <laughs> yeah. But no, you're also the first person ever seeing that. I never noticed. That's a coincidence. It wasn't meant to be like that. I have to work on Wednesday again. Uh, hey, you still have some time off. You're yes. still good. I'm just looking over there because on top of the crane fly earlier, now, oh, now a moth came Mothra in. is joining us. There's a little, well, large beige moth. Oh, food, food, food. It's great it's eating meat. It's present. Lamp, yes. I think you might have seen it on the background behind us. Mm, it's fluttering around. Oh, you can actually see it on the screen. Yeah. It's a tiny one this time. It's it's mini Mothra from the Godzilla movies. It's not as big as the previous one. Though. So now we need to catch the moth. We need to catch Mr. Langpotmug. Yeah. And I saw a few mosquitoes which yeah. will not be able to survive because those I will smash. The rest will catch and throw out. We need to invest in a bug net thingy. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna look for one right now. A mosquito screen, what are they called? One of those things that keeps the nice the insects screen. outside but lets in the air in. Just let a spider in to eat all the insects. We Bin do have that. a spider in Multiple. the corner near the window. But they're staying clear of that. Mm. And <laughs> the hedgehog too. Is it, it just graced you with its presence again. Oh, oh it's flying outside. Bye! Oh, nice, that's one worry left. How sweet, it left by itself. Then a hedgehog to eat the spider and then a falcon to eat the hedgehog. Right First now. of all, I didn't know that falcons eat hedgehogs. Second, I didn't need to know that. Third of all, I, I imagine that being a very dramatic fight because hedgehogs are like spiky and stuff. So, <laughs> if a falcon stuff. Leave the hedgehog alone. I agree with that statement. I do not want a hedgehog in my house though. They are pretty smelly in small confinements. I've saved a hedgehog before and I can confirm this. They're cute, the underbelly is really soft, but they smell bad. Yeah. 
I took care of hedgehogs when I still worked at like this mammal animal shelter. No, it's not an animal shelter. Mammals are animals. Sanctuary. At a mammal sanctuary. In the shelter you adopt them. In the oh, yeah. sanctuary you let them loose. And we used to keep them in like these big boxes with a few of them and some newspapers under them. And every morning the entire thing is completely fully shed on. Lots of cleaning. I mean, they don't know how to bathroom. Yeah, I know. Makes sense. I mean, if you just have them outside, it's not a problem. I still love them. I mean, I smell bad too. Don't we all sometimes? <laughs> That is true. I even love Jack despite yes. always smelling. To make you all not think about falcons eating hedgehogs and stuff. Mm. Pika pika. Well, pika maybe I can try to hang that off a lamp. Let in a mountain lion to eat the falcon. <laughs> uh, no, if... Wait, 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 wait. Big brain jokes. If I want to see a falcon be horribly mistreated and uh, misused, I watch Marvel movies. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> it's okay, you can say it. I don't care. Any more nuggets of wisdom, Tifa? No nuggets of wisdom. I need to Actually, yes. Insects. Buy a bug net. Yes, don't be like us. Live and learn from our mistakes. Yes, <laughs> eat the mountain lion. I don't think I want to eat a mountain lion. Same. Tifa? <laughs> Even though we also have these super tiny flies, which keep landing. It's summer, they're everywhere. Yeah, I know, but the bug net won't stop that. Oh well. At if least you get it a keeps... really fine one. At Maybe. least it stops the bigger things. Hmm. Oh well. That's my nugget of wisdom get a bug net. Yes, don't be like us. Not I'm to be confused with bug snacks. Yes. You might also want to check out bug snacks. Now I want to talk about bug snacks. But I won't. I'm going to press the button. Thank you, everybody, for another of us. We're going to be back on Tuesday with Virtuous Last Reward. See you then. Bye. Have a great Sunday week. Bye. Bye.